I like a flying knee. You what? I use a flying knee. Okay, but in a, I, in a conflict, in a fight, oh, yeah, in the that's street. fine. I know how exactly how to deflect a flying knee. No, oh, I, oh, but step, here's the thing. I step to the side. Oh, really? Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> work your body. No, because if I, I fell with you the, with yeah. your head in my right. arms, nah. that's the end I of you. I step to the side. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. And you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to Ten Minute Podcast. You fucking try a flying knee on me, my friend. I step, I step back. Shoot. What are you gonna do? Hey, shoot. And I jump up, <laughs> shoot, like that. And then you hear shoot, and then crack. You're, you're, tele- crack. you're telegraphing with all that stupid kung fu shit. The hike, shut well, up. Hike, I, shut up. You, if you grab me while nah. I'm trying to go for a flying knee, I just put your head in grab reverse you. choke. Yeah. I don't and grab you. You're going you, to the ground. Yoker boy. What don't I call do. me Yoker boy. You're a fucking Yoker. Do not fucking call me yeah. Yoker boy. What? No, don't draw your, 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 your why. Joker boy. No, don't call me that. You you throw a flying knee, which is fucking molasses slow, because getting that Samoan body even an inch I'm not off Samoan. the ground is I'm impossible. Italian. No, oh really? Yeah. I can't, I can't dunk a basketball. Your family my is Samoan, and, and they opened We're an Italian. Italian restaurant. Okay. <sighs> Welcome to the Ten Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian, the Kid Callen. And um, you're not hearing uh, Chris's shrill he died voice because he died. What? Yeah, he passed away. <laughs> Brian, don't I say know, that. I feel so. Uh, Bad. All right, so Chris isn't around today, and um, Brian and I thought we'd record anyway. And uh, Chris we, is in New York. Yeah, he's in New York, and, he, and he's at the upfronts. Well, I, I think by the time this airs, uh, I don't care. That's where he is when uh, we're recording. Chris this. doesn't. Uh, Will, uh, Brian doesn't. That's me. I'm Will. Chris isn't here, and Brian doesn't understand technology, and I don't understand whose names or whose. Um, so what we've asked our, our listeners to do on Twitter is to tweet us with some questions all about. Chris, Mm -hmm. uh, all about our pal. Um, And we've asked them to uh, tweet with the hashtag all about Chris. And thanks so much to our listeners who follow us on Twitter at 10 min pod, because you guys have come through with some cool questions and um, we get some questions for Chris that we will field here from, from our listeners. These are all real. So let's uh, here. I'll start. Yeah. This is from at young (laughs) BZ 89. Young (laughs) BZ. Young (laughs) BZ. What does Christopher D'Elia smell like? And if so, how big is his dong? Uh, well, his penis looks a lot like a seahorse. <laughs> no, it's about the size of a jumbo shrimp. And, uh, and what does he smell like, though? Chris usually smells me, like... he smells He like smells like fa- leather. He yeah, smells like leather. leather and failure. <laughs> he smells like leather and hairspray and deli, deli meat. That's right, and deli meat, because that's what he eats. Yeah, he eats he leather He smells meat. like a combination of mustard, white bread, and deli meat, <laughs> and fucking failure. <laughs> this I can tell this isn't going to go well. You got one over there that you like? Yeah. Um, yeah. Who's it from? How did you... Okay, this is from at Michael uh, Dams. Michael Adams. <laughs> <laughs> This is from that's from at a Mike a Michael uh, Dams fifty three, and uh, he asks, "How did you guys handle it when Chris came out of the closet?" Well, uh, I he's not. I fucked him. I mean, what? I, what? <laughs> Brian, Chris, no. Chris isn't gay. What happened? Yeah, that's just that's a guy trying to make like a funny. Let's move on. That's yeah, not whatever. Um, uh, let's see what else here. What else do we got? Uh, oh, this is from Salzarulo. Sal- Salzarulo. 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 BJJ at okay. Salzarulo BJJ uh, does at Cristalia shave his forearms. They always look so shorn and glossy on TV. It's interesting because Chris does have a, a shaggy beard and long, stupid hair, but his body is completely bald. That's actually not true. He's got a very hairy chest. Oh, he does have a very hairy chest, yeah. but right under his zipper line or his button line, he likes to button. You know, he likes to unbutton to about the third button so you can yeah. see his hairy, hairy chest. Yeah. And that's a V, and uh-huh. then everything else on his body is shaved clean. Yeah, he shaves. It it's, clean. He's, he's got a chest hair dicky essentially. Well, that's right. He uses a straight razor and he brings it down. <laughs> with a straight razor he shaves with uh, mineral oil yeah and he uh, and he and he and he, and he, and he, and he s- sharpens the straight razor on a piece of leather leather <laughs> and leather actually not leather, leather. on a piece yeah. of leather and then he and he brings it and he brings it down and then he brings it back up slowly <laughs> it's a trick you learn from Fabio because because uh, his so hair- you know Fabio's his hero <laughs> no yeah that's his, his hero name. is Greg Kinnear well but Fabio and, and Fabio Keanu is Reeves. also his, his other his other hero he loves Fabio and Tupac yeah. Um, yeah, but Chris's hair swirls. It looks like sort of like a swirly, like it grows in a swirl, like a cowlick. So he has to go up and down with the straight razor. He's disgusting. I mean, yeah. he's a disgusting. I don't even know why the fuck we're talking about him. Can't we do a podcast without... Well, you know, he's not here, so I just thought we'd take the opportunity to really shred him. Yeah. What so else you got over here. there? You got another well, one? Well, um, 
uh, I got here. Uh, uh, as hit as Chris ever who's, had who's a it, man. Who's it from? This is from. I'm sorry. Uh, this is from out of fart in the wind. A uh, fart? fart in the wind. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> this is from a fart in the wind. And uh, the question is: Has Chris ever had a man grab that fantastic head of hair, pull his head back, and just work his mouth? <laughs> and that's. See, this is what I love about our listeners. That's actually something I've heard you say before on this podcast. That's that's probably so true. So he's reflecting that, and now he wants to know for real if that's happened. I, I don't know if that's for real. I do know that Chris put himself through school, um, theater school, uh, by tying his shirt up into a knot and hanging out on, on uh, uh, Santa Monica Boulevard and doing whatever. Uh, I, I do know there was a time in his life when he was younger where I, the words, I can't can't or I won't were not in his vocabulary. I know that. So you can choose to believe what you want. He sort of rebels from that now. He says, I can't and I won't a lot. I want to say something else about him, and he's a dear friend, but, you know, if you shaved his head, he he is working in, you know, Starbucks. I mean, that guy <laughs> is not going anywhere in show business. It's Hey, it's come sad. on. Chris is a good and, guy. This uh, is not no, fair. No, 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 he is, but I believe those are extensions. Or I think it's a wig. I don't even know, and I don't <laughs> want to spread rumors. I hate rumors, but I do know that... Um, I've worked with some people with some pretty good hair pieces. That it seems like it's his hair. Um. Okay. Maybe it is. But then again, there's a chance if you grab that fantastic head of hair, um, it would come off. All right. Here's uh, anyway. here's one. Uh, this is from at Natalie Paz. Um, yeah. Uh, I would like to sit on hashtag All About Chris's face. Well, the problem with doing that is you might um, you might cut yourself on that beak he calls a fucking <laughs> nose. All right. <laughs> So there's that. What about now? Let's talk about the hit. Let's talk about the friction to provi- from the uh, from, from the Don beard? Johnson beard. Yeah, yeah. You you'd that'll have... probably get a chick pretty red. She'd have to stay indoors for a little while. You'd have you know a tough I mean. time riding horses. Sweetheart, or, you wouldn't go dancing the next night. No, that, she wouldn't. That's. But I could uh, I could probably you know soothe your pain with my mouth. Whoa. With my mouth. You got a real smooth mouth. I do, do have a smooth mouth. But can you just say mouth and don't go ma? It's kind of. No, I was just letting the girl know that I could use my mouth. Okay, see, that's that. I, oh, he's, he's being really perverted. Yeah, dude. That's, yeah. What else no, you got that's over there? It's not attractive to a girl. Girls, it is, it girls, is attractive girls to really, me, though. Girls seem to like, they like Chris. Well, Brian, how can, I, how can I be more like Chris to, so that the girls will say, I want to sit you, on your you, mouth? Well, you have to, you are, um, you are attractive to. Thank you. Polynesian no, women. No, don't say that. Well, you are... No, the, usually... The, you're like an al- no, You're like a Simone, but more no. albino. The you're, last few girls that have been around me, yeah. look. it looks like a fucking sight gag. It looks like they. I might be... They might be... They look like a pet. You're a fucking giant. I'm a big guy. I'm 6'3". Well, you're a giant. I'm not a giant. 6'3 is not a giant. You're 350 I, pounds. No, you're I'm not... not you're not even... <laughs> I'm not 350 pounds. You're not even pounds. that heavy. You're I just be, big. You I just could have be, huge... I could be tipping three bills at some point. I'm not... Th- that's well, ridiculous. You're a giant man no. with huge a huge head. How? And I want to be honest. I don't honest. have a huge head. You can't, you can't fly on a small plane. There's no way yes, you I get can. that... <laughs> you get that head on okay, a... Okay, I've in got a, big... I've got big leg muscles. I got, I've got... Yeah, uh, you have enormous legs. Huge calves. I've got big forearms and muscles. Powerful I got guy. I got bowling ball shoulders. There's no question that you're a very big, powerful and I, I guy. Think, I think that only girls that are a quarter of my size want to ride the W. You know what I'm saying? They want to ride the W train. Yeah, no, I do. I understand. I don't know why that is. Well, it, they probably feel petite. They uh, feel they feel human. Yeah, uh, but like a but a girl that the girl a girl that's five nine and one forty eight is still petite to me. Yeah, that's a small girl for you. Yeah. All right, you got another one over there. Yeah, it's a small girl. You got any uh, other? What do you question? prefer? Do you prefer a five nine one forty eight or you prefer a five feet? You know, uh, one hundred. Whoever wants a mile. Okay, you know that likes to get the mouth. Okay, can you please stop saying what the hell? Is it? We didn't even get through this. <laughs> give me, give it All right, one. Uh, this is from uh, at Twitter Paris. When did he lose his virginity? I'm bored with that. Here's uh, at Brown C J W. Who is more surprised that Chris is more well known than his way more talented brother? Chris, his brother, or his parents? Oh yeah, Matt D'Elia has a movie called American Animal. Uh, Brian, go this see is, it. Yeah, go see American Animal. It's opening in New York now. Matt then... Matt is a is a beautiful young uh, boy. He's got he's very slight of frame with a full head of hair. His father 
is Bill D'Elia. His father, Bill D'Elia, Famed told me, TV he said, you are the director. son I never had, and I really love you, Brian. And that's what Bill said. Oh, that's... Well, this has been fun, talking why, why about Why does this pal, music Chris. keep going? Well, because this is the what happens, the music at the end of the oh. show. Anyway, thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast. We're yeah. on Twitter at 10MinPod. Thanks for subscribing uh, and listening on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart Radio. And, and at, all of this info is available at 10MinutePodcast.com. At Silver Sky says that Chris, Chris could clone himself. Would he suck the clone's dick? I got a surprise for you. What? I started recording. Fuck face. Oh, we don't have to fucking complain about it, man. <laughs> yeah, but that's what you, always... you start every show by going, when's it Well, because you take too long, naturally. <laughs> naturally, you take too long. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to 10-Minute Podcast. Welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. And I'm... I'm Chris D'Elia. And speaking of fuck faces, Brian Callen is not with us. Wait, were we talking about fuck faces? Well, I called you fuck face at the top of oh, the show. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm yeah. Sorry See, about I that. only have, I have a, I don't remember that kind of stuff. My I, my mind's on more important stuff. Like? Uh, fuck. Um, God. Like Colin Brian fuck face. Doing stuff, doing stuff like real shit in Hollywood. Doing stuff like real shit in Hollywood? Yeah. Can you, if you ever write a book, can you call it doing stuff, doing stuff like real shit in Hollywood? <laughs> that would be... <laughs> I mean, I would buy that book immediately, all jokes aside. If, especially if doing stuff was on it twice. Doing stuff, doing stuff like real shit in Hollywood. That would be immediately, I would say I read it and I loved it even before I read it. Yeah. So, um, so okay. So, Chris, here's what's up. Couple hey, days well, look, well, first of all, wha- okay, you, you do that. Okay. A couple days ago, we had an episode uh, called uh, All About Chris, where we asked our listeners to tweet in. And um, and tweet about you and ask questions that Brian and I could a- could answer about you because you weren't here and oh, Brian really? was here. Well, let me ask you a question. How come all of a sudden, before uh, why does this podcast seem so much better than all of the other ones right now? I think I'm I'm picking up what you're laying down. What? I do what? not I do what? not disagree because we're not fighting, gasping for air, oh. and trying to tread water while the bit killer. Uh, oh, bit killer Jones. <laughs> bit killer Jones. <laughs> it's it's like. It's as if we're treading water and, and Brian is a playful whale just tugging us down under the water yeah. so we can't breathe or speak. Yes, no, it's less like that and more like the fucking opening scene from Jaws <laughs> where he's fucking kill, murdering. The lady is the bit uh-huh. and then the shark is Brian and yeah. he comes up and chomps the girl and it is, the bit in half and it is, ruins it. Yeah, well, okay. I mean, I, I agree I it agree on it. some on some aspects of that. I disagree on others. But uh, but suffice to say, it is a whole lot easier to speak. I do think that the three of us together have a have a unique. Yeah, it's good. It's the best. So but I, it I, is the best podcast ever. We we yeah. be lying to you if we said. No, it I'd be lying. I'm not a liar. But let me tell you something though. Seriously, since it's just between us, like I really don't like Brian for real. <laughs> well, uh, maybe you won't like him after you listen to this clip. I'd like to play you a clip. What is it from uh, from Tuesday's show, from our last show, where uh, Brian spoke about you? Okay. I want to say something else about him, and he's a dear friend. But you know, if you shaved his head, he he is working in you know Starbucks. I mean, that guy <laughs> is not going anywhere in show business. It's hey, it's come sad. on. Okay, so there it is. I sort of stuck up for you at the end, though. Yeah. At, well, first of all, Brian, I think what he's trying to do is be negative towards the good people that work at Starbucks and for Starbucks. And I, I, I would, I don't do that. I like Starbucks, so he's it's good uh, for you. That's, yeah. that, uh, that is very nice of you to stick up for them. Yeah. So and, uh, that's rude. I think he's, he's trying to do his down, and he's trying to say that I'm talent. I don't have. I'm without talent. That's and that wrong. It's my hair. Yeah. And it's not. And my it's, hair is good. Okay. Have, I get you, it. Right. But you're, it's, you're, he's jealous of your hair. He wants your hair. Yeah. As I've stated before on the podcast, if I had your hair, I would look like Ogre from Revenge of the Nerds. I don't want your you, hair. It's hard to pull it off. It is hard to and pull it off. And guess who does it? The kid. But by the kid, this time, I mean me, Chris, not him, because I truly am Chris the kid. Chris is pointing to himself. So um, earlier today, I asked um, our followers uh, who follow us on at 10 Min Pod. Oh, I really hate that name, man. <laughs> um, to tweet in some questions for Brian. Uh, or sorry about Brian, about Brian for Chris and I because okay, uh, we're cool. here. So we got some of these. Chris, this is you what jump they, in? this is them. Right yeah. Here? So who's who? You got one or you? Wanna... Uh, sure. Oh, uh, I got one right here. Yeah. Who's All it about from? Brian. It's from, it from Franchise Time at Franchise Time, which is the most foreign thing to call your Twitter name, Franchise Time. Mm-hmm. At ten, <laughs> at Franchise Time. <laughs> at 10 min pod what is the dumbest thing you've seen Brian do outside of Corky Romano and that's actually really easy um, 
That's Brian really was, fucking easy. Brian was not in Corky Romano. But, but we in, in a way, is. his essence was. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it, it, the dumbest thing I've seen Brian do outside of Corky Romano is yeah. drive that fucking god awful red Prius. <laughs> why is it? Why do? You, why do? A, a Prius, first of all, Priuses are great. I yeah. love Priuses. I think they're great at they save the environment. That's fucking awesome because we're all yeah. gonna die if we don't do that. Yeah, that's true. Why to get a Why to get a cherry ruby fucking yeah. red one? It, why did he draw attention to himself? The whole idea of having a Prius, and I know a lot of people that do that. That you know, yeah. perhaps you know that, that it can afford more expensive cars, but they're into the Prius. They they like what it stands for, and they usually go for a gunmetal gray, a cobalt. Yep. You know, at the very most, maybe a blue. Yeah, but low this, profile. <clears throat> right. This fuckhead uh, gets a cherry red Prius. He, it's cherry red yeah. Prius, which is like saying, "Hey guys, look at me. I'm fucking." Middle aged and yeah. I suck. Right. <laughs> if you get a red car, you suck. Right. I. You know. Um. It's like pulling your dick out a lot. If and, and it's really small. It's like, like Brian. Pulling a small dick. It's out. like if Brian were to pull out his three inch penis. Right. I have a huge dick. Uh, you know. Okay. I. I don't know. Okay. I don't know if right. that really well, pertains wear, to this. I wear all about size Brian. Fifteen feet. Okay. You're I, also okay. seven foot so, eight. So. Um, okay. Uh, here's. <clears throat> this is. From, I'm six three. This is from at. Peter Marin Music, hashtag all about Brian. Does Brian have a part in Hangover 3 as an even less important character than in the last two? I think could you get less important? I think the less important (laughs) character on Hangover 3 would be uh, Craft Service, I think what it would be. And I think that Brian is actually doing Craft Service on uh, Hangover 3. And good for him, dude. He's branching Uh. out. I hope that they shoot. Well, I hope Brian's in Hangover Three, but it would be pretty funny if um, if they just have to cut everything out. Yep. And he just sort of ends up walking by, like just you know, he ends up being turned into an extra. Yeah. Because they just had to cut his lines to drive the story. Brian's Brian's lines in Hangover Three are this: Hey guys, whoa, whoa. that's his line. <laughs> That's his line at Hangover 3. Because then there was a whole scene to pr- proceed right. that, right. That, that that would have yeah got into the meat of it. But hey, guys, whoa. That's what it cuts down to. Yeah. What, what do you got? Uh, else? I was – okay, at New World Orphan. Cute plan words. <laughs> that's pretty tee-hee, dude. At – I mean, New World Orphan. That's fucking – that's so cute, dude. I love that shit. Yeah. I want to fucking hold whoever that is. Even if a guy – guy, like not even in a gay way. Just cute as fuck. New World Orphan. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, quit teeing. Nah, man. I can't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> at New World Orphan, I was wondering what it's like to know someone whose hair is slowly committing suicide. Is it depressing or enjoyable? All about Brian. Pretty funny, actually. And a, a ni- nice, funny way of saying that he's balding. Hair slowly committing suicide. I like to think of Brian's... Uh, first of all, everything of knowing, about knowing Brian is pretty fucking depressing. But... Yeah. <laughs> And it's enjoyable how depressing it is. But here's the deal. I like to th- liken uh, Brian's head as one hair in the middle farted. <laughs> and the rest of the hair was like, whoa, we got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he, so he looks, he essentially looks like Charlie Brown or Homer Simpson. Yeah, yeah, forever. yeah, basically. Ma- he just swirls one hair around his head and yeah. it ends up having the effect you, of it. You know, how look, even, you know how evil villains twirl their beard? Brian twirls the top of his head, the yeah. one hair. He, 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 w- the middle of his he- top of his head farted, and the rest of the hair was like, damn, that smells bad. Okay, here's, uh, this is from O. Fergus, at O with two H's, Fergus. O H H? O H H Fergus. Uh, hashtag all about Brian. Who can throw Brian further? That's me. Let's try a different. Okay, well, no, now um, no, that, you me, just did that me, one, but me. you did this, no, that's did that's that me, one to so give yourself. That's me. That's me. About you stronger. Yeah, I'm really, really strong. Um, this is from mm. at uh, uh, JSM0309. Uh, hashtag all about Brian. When Brian Callen filmed his Showtime special, did he realize they were actually recording it? Oh my God, that's so <laughs> that's funny. That's really mean. By the way, yeah, it is mean, but his it's fucking. Hilarious. He deserves it. It is no. really funny. Man class is funny. Yeah, get that. Uh, if you if you like uh, broad strokes, if you like. Broad no. Strokes, yeah. No, you do it. You well, want, you know. Here's the interesting thing. We went over to Brian's house and watched the special with him as yeah. it premiered on Showtime. And he did think that they were going to cut it down to about 45 minutes. Oh my or 50 god, minutes. so funny. He did an hour and 20 minutes he, on stage, and they left it. They they kept the whole thing, and I think it was. It might have even been two hours of TV time. It was so with funny. Commercials, dude. and he was sitting in the. I know you. I remember you tweeted a picture yeah. of Brian. Do, do you want to talk about? Dude, that shit was so. I took a picture of him. Dude. He's, I took a picture of him. That was the cutest shit. It was picture. cute as fuck. He was eating his thumb and looking yeah, at his thing behind everyone, and it was as yeah. shit, dude. <laughs> but uh, I, I think he did a great job, and he was a little self conscious. But I like that he let it flow. You think it's a bit pedestrian? No, uh, no. Honestly, Brian is one of the funniest guys I've ever seen on stage at the Spearmint Rhino. Hey, oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you got, got anything else? Uh, ten minute pie. Does Brian eat crayons for lunch? That's uh, that's that's actually he's mentally challenged. That's actually weird because you must know Brian because um, he's got a fucking terrible diet. See, each. Is, this, this is what I like about our, our listeners and the guy and the people that follow us on Twitter, uh, that they're funny. They're funny themselves. You know, this was fun. I like I like interacting with them, Chris. Okay. Hey, are you a robot, bro? I like to interact. I like interacting with him. Hey, thanks for listening to the Ten Minute Podcast. Subscribing on and uh, downloading on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart Radio. Check us out on Twitter, of course, at Ten Min Pod. And uh, all of this info and m- a whole bunch of other shit at TenMinutePodcast.com. Ooh. That's all I drink. I don't even drink water. You just drink coffee all the time? Oh, but I'm healthy, dude. I'm very right. healthy. You should uh, do a coffee enema. It's better for you than drinking Will. coffee. Coffee enema? Like you I'm put... saying ram that coffee oh, up your no. fucking ass. Ew. Hey, Will, Come Will, on. Will, 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 Welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callan. And I'm Chris D'Elia. And I'd like to start off by saying, before I know you're going to jump you're going to jump on it, Will, but I just want to say, dude, congratulations. Because, you know, it's like uh, for the, whatever, it was third or fourth week in a row, uh, you know, it knocked down a number two, but Avengers is doing really well. So that's very cool. Congratulations. What are you talking about? What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm saying you I, I saw it last night, finally, and saw I just wanted to congratulate you on... <laughs> Three Stooges, you no, son the of a Avengers. bitch. I'm not in the Avengers. What are you talking about? Oh, I know. <laughs> who this do you is think going. he's? Who do you think? I who am? do you think he was? Oh, I the, thought you were saying the Stooges. Who did you think he was in the Avengers? Oh, now I know what you're talking well, about. Well, he. What do you mean about how? Well, you play the green guy. <sighs> he doesn't play. I'm the not Hulk. the green guy. That's the Hulk. Why do you think? He I'll, plays I'll take no, that as Mark a compliment. Mark Ruffalo. No, Mark Ruffalo plays the scientist, but then when he changes, it's, no, no, it's not me. It's Will. No, it's, it's not, not me. No, they, no they, they have CGI now. They don't need CGI. like a, you're you're saying I'm a I'm, I'm I look like Lou Ferrigno because like back in the 70s, when when the, oh good keep that I, going. I want to I want to turn um, your phone on. Okay. Well, I just wanted to. That, okay, so that's not you. No, you know, dude, that's you know, not me. You know, speaking of um, transformation, I've decided that I'm going to get some work done. I don't like uh, I don't look like my face anymore. Oh, and whoa. cool! We don't like your face. Either. Hey guys, guys, right, this is vulnerable. You, you should I'm have your serious. you should have your nose removed. Don't would you say li- that. Would dude. you like me to do it for you? No, I'm being serious. I want to tighten my face up a little bit. Okay, so I'll and... pull at your fucking ears. Hey man, I'll put my knee in the back of your head and pull at your ears. I normally no. don't. I don't really don't like reconstructive surgery, but I actually think that's a good idea. What Will's doing, hey, guys, yeah. guys, I'm trying to be vulnerable, man. Chris, um. I thought you were really great in uh, The Crow Part 2. No. <laughs> you were. You were. He actually was. No. No, you, guys, you were. No, okay, that's, so, Chris, okay, well, that's, if I... Go! Well, go! If I was... If go, I was it can't go. rain every day. If I was the Hulk, then you're The Crow Part 2. No. If I'm Avengers. All, what? Well, okay. Go! That wasn't me. Go! go hey, go. hey, Brian, stop doing that. Hey, Brian, uh, first of all, stop doing that. Stop doing that for sure, because everyone, it, everyone I'm, listening I'm, hates I'm that. Trying to, I'm trying to get into the conversation with uh, you guys. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. What add. what movie character is Brian? Uh, he is uh, Daniel Day Lewis in anything no, he does. No, no, no. You, you, Brian, is the are Kevin Spacey who? in whatever he just did. Don't, who plays? Don't no, you're, you know what you are. You're Kevin Spacey in K Pax. <laughs> Look, dude, <laughs> don't laugh at that. That's not funny. Uh, well, I um, I have a heroic. I'm not. You're going to think I'm lying. You're going to think I'm being silly, but I, this is what I've heard as an actor in every acting class and every film I've done. I have a heroic bearing um, because I I, uh, I play heroes, I, mostly really? on stage, yeah. and because I live a hero's lifestyle. Can I just talk about how Chris is eating a fucking salad? Like he's, We've already had an episode where he eats the yeah, whole time. Yeah, but he time. never eats uh, vegetables, and this is the This first. is actually I've pretty cool. I've never seen you eat greens. Let me ask you something, though, Will, because you said you, you hear that in acting class. Will, what, cl- what acting class are you in? I'm I'm not in an acting oh, class. No, me neither. Huh. Yeah, that's Why? weird. Hey, guys. Chris, do you get a lot of work in television, okay. film, that sort of thing? Uh, you yeah. act, right? You're a professional yeah, for about actor. Three years now, I've been okay, professionally guys. acting. You've yeah. been doing every pretty much every like, week. Yeah, you've had yeah. like two two series two over series. the past I three had years. Two series. Yeah, I so didn't have time for class. So pretty much regularly. Okay. I I was in class. Not not time. to trump you, but I've pretty much been working. I mean, if I'm not working since every day, like I'm working every day for about 22 years. Right? Since I was about 15. So you don't do class. 
Because no. you were well, you were in a huge blockbuster movie guys, that just yeah. came out. Guys, so I didn't yes. go to I didn't go to class to, didn't to do that. Guys, I study the... my craft. It's it was more of a workshop. It was a theater. Yeah. Oh, it was a craft theater craft and workshop. That's the sort of things you do when you 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 when you glue like popsicle sticks sticks together. Sticks. You oh. said sticks. I said sticks. You said sticks. Hmm. So mm. you said mm. sticks. Mm. Mm. I speak mm. English and you said sticks. Mm. Okay. Mm. okay. What's a stick? Mm. What is a stick? Maybe I meant to say stick. What's stick? What is a stick? Stick mm. is a fucking stick when you say stick instead of stick. Nope. No, but because mm, that mm. doesn't make sense there. So, mm. 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 why did I say that? Hey, Chris, mm. stop looking in your bag for goodies. Oh, I wanted a, I wanted a, a, a napkin is what I wanted. So, hey guys, what, so what's this podcast about today? It's about me. It's about the fact <laughs> well, that so I, far. I took a cruise. I took a cruise. I went oh, on vacation. Brian was on yeah. a cruise. And uh, there are 2,500 people on a boat the size of three football fields and with 14 floors in it. Because I'm a celebrity, I had the entire 14th floor. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was the, it's called the, the villa, the garden villa. And uh, what, what's amaz- amazing to me is that people will get on a boat mm-hmm. and they'll, they'll, they'll cram themselves on a boat, yep. 2,500 with a, a staff of 1,000. That's fucking that's a, crazy. Yeah, that's right. And, and I wonder, it's I go, why sure. in the... F- Fuck! Would would anybody get on a boat? Yeah. And go. You you you're you're on a boat for two and a half days. You land in Bermuda. You get off. You go to the beach. Yeah. Then you get back on the boat and well, you come back for two and a half days. I'm surprised that anyone gets on a boat for well for two huge reasons. Mm-hmm. Number one, Titanic. That already happened. Right. Yep. Uh, number two, and that was back in the golden age of boats when That's everyone right. had a fucking hard on for boats right. yep. and the ship fucking broke in half. Yep. Uh, number two, planes. <laughs> well, not only planes, but the other thing I was thinking about was I had a balcony and I looked out and it was like about one in the morning. Mm-hmm. I just finished my Kung Fu Katas and, right. uh, and I was wearing my, my gi and I, and I was doing, uh, I was doing moon breathing and I looked out on that water and it was so dark in the middle of the fucking Atlantic yeah, sure. where it's a mile and a half deep. Yeah. I can't think of anything scarier yeah. than being tossed no. overboard. There's nothing scarier in than that. the middle of the fucking ocean uh-huh. because you can't see anything. Waves are hitting you and the wind was blowing yeah. and you could see these waves just going. Whoosh. Yeah. Oh, and you hear and 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 ah, when you look out ah. there no there were none of those oh, there were sorry. no seabirds oh, no? cuz you're too no you're too far out I was out. doing the crow you're sorry. too far out to hear okay. seabirds you're doing that because of my thing cuz you look like yeah, the crow. See, I don't like that so you don't know if a shark is going to come and take your legs right. you don't know if a giant yeah, squid is going to suffocate you're you you're always or, obsessed with what wild animals are going to do to you in true. situations you are where obsessed. there are no wild animals you just explained how you're on a boat with a crew of 1000 and you're talking about being out in the middle of the ocean yeah. I, know, I think you wanted to jump in i might have fallen off if i was there you would have been tossed off, I know. and 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 the boat you the are. boat was how many three a size of three football fields? Yeah, I would have thrown you the length of one football okay. field. No, out into the so fucking you would have thrown ocean. from the middle no. of the boat. From the middle of the boat. No, let me get to, and he'd hit his face. On I the can end think of, the boat. of one. Ow. I can Ow. think of one thing scarier than that ocean. What? What is that? Having to actually see your face on that uh, DVD of that movie you did with <laughs> the fucking all the titles and what? The the forty one year old version who knocked up Sarah. Marshall I can think of one thing scarier than it. Seeing that on the shelf of Blockbuster and having to be like, "That's me in that movie." Hey, that listen. Was a uh, bad movie. By the way, if you <laughs> if you'd like to buy uh, the forty one year old virgin who knocked up Sarah Marshall and felt super bad about it, make sure to go through our Amazon banner at yep. ten minutepodcast dot com. We'll get a little kickback and keep this uh, train rolling. Oh man, we'll probably and make you'll a get, fortune. Yeah, and you'll get them, <laughs> and you'll get that movie. And How actually, much? Brian's funny in it. How yeah. much I'm not funny. I'm sure no, you, funny. you are. You I'm are. I'm terrible in it, and it's a bad movie. No, I'm actually a bad actor. Um, how much? How much <laughs> right, money well, um, do, do we make if people go and buy it off? We I, can bought, make two, I bought. I bought. Um, um, I bought a South African condor. You yeah, bought through yeah, Those are expensive, especially because they don't. They're not indigenous to <clears throat> South Africa, no. so you must have. It must have been really rare. Wow, it was very rare, and um, but because we're going to start making money, right? Okay, wait. Yeah. If I give you a million dollars, you had to buy one thing. One thing and spend as much of it as you could. What would it be? It, it, wait, if I if you I'm had, giving you a million dollars, you have you have you have I have two, to buy you have, one you thing. T- t- uh, ten seconds to buy one thing. Okay. Ten, nine, meat, eight, your life. Seven, I would meat. buy you. <laughs> meat. I would buy you a million dollars around. You would dance no. around for me. And I'm not even eating red meat, meat right now. The meat would spoil. Why? I'm sort of a pescatarian. I would have a meat party. I'd what? fucking be the mayor. It's man. a lot of meat for a million dollars. I'm saying that is a shit ton of meat. I would feed most of L.A. I would well, I would get a okay I would get a money order haha so then this way I wouldn't have to do whatever I wanted to do with the million dollars and I don't have a time limit. Hey man, you tricked me. 
Uh, Man, you you got to be crafty, dude. Yeah, like the way you that study your craft. That wasn't you. That wasn't you. It wasn't me. Okay, but when I'm you, not the Hulk. I know. I know. I would hire. When you. I would hire a chef, a jujitsu instructor, and a tennis instructor. That's not one thing. And I'm not done. And lay a tennis court. And I played tennis every day. When I was done, I do jujitsu. Oh, no, please, man. <laughs> then I would play. What else um, did I say I would do? I don't remember. You said you'd lay a tennis court. Yeah. Um, I don't know what this podcast was about, but I liked it. Dicking around. Dicking around. Dicking round. Dicking round. Dick round. <laughs> One word. Dicking round. Oh, wait. Very quickly. I'm on the I'm on the boat. A, a guy from a name Bob from Second City goes. Are you Brian Callen? I go. Yeah. He goes. I'm listening to your podcast right now with Will Sasso. No and way. Goes, and I love your 10 minute podcast. Oh, he was cool. listening to it in the gym. What about as you I was, though? Did as you I was fucking just yeah, yeah, banging. Sure thanks for listening out. to the 10 minute podcast. Uh, thanks for subscribing. On, thanks for subscribing <laughs> on uh, iTunes and uh, we're on Stitcher Smart Radio, Five. Twitter at 10 Min Pod. Visit 10 Minute Podcast dot com and hit all hit all that I'm shit. I'm doing. Tr- I'm a good kisser. So. I'm a good kisser. Right. No, a lot so of girls. So what? Who gives yeah. a fuck? Whenever I kiss, it's funny. It's actually happened every single time. Every time I kiss a girl, they back away and they go, wow. Yeah. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10 Minute Podcast. Welcome. 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callan, and I can play that song on the drums. No, and, uh, that song actually is a, a piano and stuff. But anyway, my name is Chris D'Elia. <laughs> what uh, did you just say? It's a, that song is a piano. It's a piano. It's I not thought drums. You said, I thought you said my tongue is a piano. My tongue is a piano the way I play. The way I play. This, I wink him. He's winking wink. at Brian. You don't wink at me, bro. I, I want to wink if I want to. You know, I really don't appreciate the way you, you make sexual innuendo. It's what are you talking about? It I don't make it. Because you're about trying what? to take my manhood away from no, me. No, I'm it's not. What, about, what are you talking about? It's the way you assert dominance, and I'm not going to take that shit. No, no, no. Hey, but Brian, uh, come over one night. We'll do a movie night. We'll cuddle and shit like that. <sighs> hey, man. We'll move hey, the couch out of the way. Hey, man. Tell we'll me. We'll set up blankets. Chris, Chris, we'll set up blankets. It's not funny. I'm not trying to be funny. Yeah, well, I don't want to do a movie night with you, bro, because I'm not into that shit. Fine. And I'm not into cuddling. I'm, okay, but okay? if you want to, I know I don't, you don't. And I, I don't. know you don't. And I don't. I know you don't. Yeah, because I like girls. I know that. Yeah, if so don't. You, I know that. Yeah. If you do change your mind and you do want to, and I know you don't, but if you do, yeah. I'll supply everything. I got the, I got the popcorn. I got the red hey, lines. Hey, hey. I got the... <laughs> I got don't the, make condoms. passes. I got everything. Me, don't, I got the, don't say condoms. I didn't say that. I said you red did vines, say, hot you said tamales, have, and popcorn. You said I have condoms. I said you which could, suggests what? Everything. That you're gonna you're gonna be doing the fucking no. Chris. Who, who if we were hold on if we were on a date and I was at your house and we were cuddling and watching a movie which I would never do. Yeah. Do you suggest that you're the one who would do the who, who would be banging me or I'd be banging you? Just to answer that. You're at my place. Then, yeah. Then you're getting it. You're out of your fucking. You're no. out of your fucking okay, mind. Hold on, let me ask you guys. If Wait, I you supply, stay out no, of hold on one second. Okay, if no. I supply the red vines, I supply the hot tamales, and I supply the popcorn and everything. Yeah. And I paid for everything. Yeah. That's a chauvinistic. That's yeah. not a chauvinistic hey. thing. That's a very nice, listen. manly thing to do. And you would hey. be the one who would take hey. my guys, r- listen. my round cock. <laughs> Don't laugh at that, man. What? Listen, hey, you fucking... On. He's but, got long hair. I'm wait, pulling your hair say, and I'm the one to do the fucking... Can I just can I what? just say, look, I've got... You know, I'm very fortunate in that I have a, a, a lovely home with a very large den and the television is is, is, is oversized. It's, okay. it's unnecessarily so? huge. I have a gigantic cowhide sectional couch yeah, that I had you, custom you, made. Twin Peaks was okay. filmed here. Well, it's, a, it's a very cabin like it's. I'm from Canada. I like to create that warmth and comfort. Yeah, so what's your point? So my point is, you guys are totally welcome to come to my house and watch a movie, but you got to suck my cock. No! Hey, 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 hey. You gotta hey, suck my hey, cock and balls. Listen, no, dude. here, the couch is really deep. Huh? No, dude. And, and I don't I do will, that shit. I'll, I'll support. I got big legs. No. I'll push my legs out. Here's what'll happen. Here's what'll happen. Brian, it'll be a movie you've already seen before. Perhaps the 41 year old virgin who sh- knocked up Sarah Marshall and felt super I bad saw about that. it. Which is a movie that Brian's in. So you've already seen it. So all you gotta do is take off all your clothes, kneel at the bottom of my bum, hey. tongue my ass, hey. and Chris, oh, you suck my dick while I grab your girl hair. No, I'll no, grab your girl hair. I don't do that dick. shit. Both of you shut up. No, I'm just saying. I just want to do a movie hey, night. I'll hey guys, you it's, right just, now. it's movie night. I'll fight you right fucking now. Hey dude, you keep I doing just that. you just tongue my fucking ass hey. while he sucks Hold my dick. Hold on one second. I'm not. By the way, I'm not any fucking part of this. I'm not talking about sexual shit. I'm not talking about sucking. I'm not talking about fucking. What I'm talking about is if you want to come over, Brian, and we'll have a cuddling movie night. I don't want to do that. I, I already said that. So okay. stop asking and if me to do if it. If it's a money thing, I will get everything. I will get the popcorn. Bro, I will get the red vines. That's I will really get the, nice of you. So why is he being a weird? Well, I already have a lot of that shit in my fucking den. I have a bar. You guys can have whatever you want. If you want something, if you want.
want to pop or you want some do tequila? Not try, I, I don't want to pop because I'm not from Canada or the 40s. Yeah. What I would like is <laughs> soda because I'm an American and you're a communist. And no, that's very obvious and you just displayed that. No, 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 no. You guys can share. Communism is just, it's not necessarily about sharing, but you can share my cock. No. Let me ask you a question seriously, though. How do you feel being one of the 25 people that are uh, that are in Canada. How does it feel? <laughs> there's 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 like probably 35 40 million people there. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, I am here now and I've been here for several years. But you're not a citizen though. I you're am a citizen. a citizen. I'm an American citizen. No, you're not. Yes, I am. So you turn no, your back not. on your own country, huh? No, I'm also a Canadian citizen. Here's how it works. In America, when you become an American citizen, they ask that you renounce your allegiance to all other countries. I did that. But unbeknownst to America, Canada is its own nation with its own laws. So there they recognize dual citizenship. So, I why so basically you, why what you did, you, 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 you kind of skimmed the yeah. fucking... No, I'm an American. Kinda, I'm proud to be an American. You wink, winked your way through yeah, you it. You turn your back on here. your own country. No, huh? no, 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 no. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. No, he found a loophole, Look, man. guys, we're talking about movie night. This isn't about... You want to talk about Canadian... Yeah, he found a loophole. Hey, the Canadian found a loophole. Look, he talked to the 24 other people that live there, and he fucking conferred, listen. and they, they found a loophole. They Look, wrote a new constitution over there. It doesn't matter. The national animal is a beaver. It doesn't matter. It I think is. It's a beaver. You guys could choose a polar bear, wolves, and you chose a beaver. Mm, mm, I eat wood. Mm, I have a flat tail. Bing, bing, bing. Hey, Will, follow me. Hey, 24 guys, follow me. You got a flat-tailed rat. <laughs> you're fucking, you're not Here, a country. Here's, guys, look, I think our listeners, they're interested. Again, I've said this before, but I think they're interested in the fact that we're actual real friends in oh, real yeah. life. Yeah. That we there's actually a real dynamic, yeah. and uh, we're actually real dudes. So I, I think they want to know sort of, you know what kind of guys we are yeah. and um and you know i think movie night is like a, a sort of a look into you know who we are as people i know that i when i have a movie night i like to bring a girl over mm-hmm. but chris i understand what you're saying about wanting to cuddle brian because he's just your friend he's your friend what i what i like to do is and i don't like to assert dominance i'm not trying to be an alpha male i like to have friendships i like to have real friendships i like okay. to have honest friendships you're, you're looking okay? at me with soft eyes and you're talking in a seductive voice no. if you fucking come on to me right now i'm, I'm gonna not punch gonna you come in the on face. to you i do not don't treat me like a woman he- bro I, there's nothing wrong with being homosexual i'm heterosexual yeah. he's I'm heterosexual. extremely so heterosexual so much, and so i know you are and i recognize that yeah. and let me take this to another it. fucking. F- let me talk. Yeah, but don't me- try to don't try to I'm dominate not, me. I'm not trying to dominate. I, I'm you. not homophobic, but you're trying to dominate. Let me just me. say a few things. All here. right, go I ahead. I listen to you. You come over. You drive over. I'm not picking you up because it's your not voice a homo is thing. annoying no, me look, because you're already trying to be seductive thing. with your voice. You come Tell him. No. Tell him I'm going to punch it's you. Not he's not, he's being Brian. It's honestly, Chris is being really. He's he's being. He's just trying to lay out a scenario. Diplomatic. He's being very diplomatic. Don't touch him. Don't, Don't touch me. Okay? Brian is lashing out. Brian, just it. calm down. I, I have a just lot listen of listen to his. Punch. Hey, look, you son of a bitch. You're going to break it I stop it. Stop hey, it. hey, hey, guys, guys, quit fucking fuck around, man. Keep keep it up. Don't touch me. I don't want ringworm. I don't have fuck. Let me talk to you. He doesn't want a bot fly. Look at. So let me talk to you one second. Hey, hey, dude, fucking don't fuck with me. I know you got bitten by a tsetse fly. So listen, stop breathing like that. Stop breathing like stop a fucking. Stop breathing like that. Stop breathing like a, a like a large fucking cat. Angry. Stop it. Stop Look. breathing like a Busting big. Out of you're my breathing shirt. like a big cat. One second. Let me just say something about. Just let him finish. Can his I finish thing? my fucking thing? We're about to. The music's about to start. Jesus. Look, you. It's just ten minutes. You come over. Fucking relax. We hang out. There's two separate chairs. I, I'll yeah, sit in one chair. Yeah. You sit in the so we'll watch I. something. What's we'll the watch movie? Something. What's the movie? The Recruit with the, Colin Farrell <laughs> and know. Al Pacino. Okay? We put it on. Why is that I got it t it, It's just a movie. Yeah, We're just going to have a movie. I don't want to watch a okay? movie. Okay? Let him lay it out. We got two chairs. You okay? Not, We're not watching out the. It's not. It doesn't. You better not get sexual. It's not sexual. We watch it from two chairs. We set them up side by side with. Feet in between, yeah. all right? Okay. But we are fucking watching the movie. It's fun. It's good. Al Pacino's yelling. It yeah. gets to the part where like it's like, oh, no, what's going to happen? I get scared sometimes, yeah. okay? So what we do is we're like, yo, let's fucking lay down. And we lay whoa, in between. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, let him finish. We lay whoa. In- I'm not. La- Why am I laying down? We're late. Cause what do you mean? Let's lay down. What the fuck are you talking about? We're laying in between the two chairs that I set up. There's a fucking already blankets and pillows chilled he, out. There's no, chilled. bro, bro, you're trying. You're, you're, Why are you're, you're, not- do- you're now. You're listen to me. You're doing what you would do to a girl. There's to get wine her to fuck coolers. You. There's Zima. I don't Zima. drink wine coolers. There's, I don't drink fucking Zima. There's, and I know what you're doing. There's red you're vines. Fu- Hey, leave him alone. Guys, guys, guys. Hey, all right. That's it. Fuck it. Hey, what the fuck? Sit the fuck down. Sit down. Sit down. Tell him to stop, man. If he keeps It's not a fucking. Don't get sexual. Listen to me. And I know what you're doing. Stop it, dude. I'm just thinking about you guys sucking my dick and balls. I'll hold you. 
I'll hold you. We'll watch the rest of the recruit. It's a good fucking movie. I'll hold you. And then we'll look up stuff online together and just laugh. Just, just laugh. That's the night, dude. That's and not, there's no sex. Dude, well, I there. fucking did something almost like that with a girl not too long ago. Yeah, why is that hey, bad? Hey, bro, I'm not a girl. Yeah, but she's like someone I consider a friend. A friend, dude. He's not trying to fuck her. I, why is well, your mind I am always trying like to, that? Yeah, but I mean, I know you are trying to. No, but I'm not like trying. It might happen yeah. one day if right. she's in a fucking hard yeah, spot if she's and needs in, somebody. If she's in a yeah. hard spot. I'm a guy, so I'm not going to be in that spot, right? You know, I mean, we're going to watch a recruit. Just watch the fucking recruit with him. He's your fucking friend. This is it, what I'm trying to say. Right, this yes, whole yes or no? Is, yes or no? You're going to try to bang me? Absolutely not. We're going to cuddle. I'm going to hold you. Hey, hey, calm down. Ah, ah, calm the fuck down. Sit down, dude. Sit down, dude. Fuck, man. All right. Hey, look. Thanks for... Just, it's just and movie night. And what we night. do is We're not we sit this. down, and as the movie ends, All right. I kiss you long and hard. There we go. There fuck we go. this shit out hey, of you. thanks for listening. Get the fuck out of this 10 minute podcast and subscribe. I'm going to fuck you. On iTunes, on Stitcher, Spotify, Twitter, 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 Tw
<laughs> that's, that's so funny. Good. That's pretty good. That's funny. That's, I'll tell you I what. I didn't know people in Boston actually tweet also with their accent. <laughs> I'll that's take. I'll get in a, on a. I'll get in a plane. I'll take a first class ticket out there. I got a long, flat, clean tongue. <laughs> And it's super, super effective at fixing to a what? Steam, Clean a fucking a steamed swamp box. T- that's his asshole. <laughs> no, it's a girl. It's a that's girl. a girl. No, you no, idiot. no. It's it's a man. No, and it's no, his it's asshole. Not. That's a girl. That's I saw. A girl. I saw her Twitter picture. Mish the dish. Mish the dish is a girl. You need you need a man with a strong, flat American tongue. And but and I'll fly out there with Brian because I I'll get a nice companion f- fare. And Brian, if it's okay with you, yeah, I'll fucking drink a nice glass of cold ice cold iced tea first and spit in her box dude first. how about hey, how about hey, uh, while you guys are doing that man, hey, man how about while you guys are doing that no i'll spitting. stay the fuck in la and think you guys are weird as shit man hey Bro, hey will with your you're gonna, flat you're gonna support my you're gonna secure my hips while i clean that steam clam with you my flat it. american you, tongue you got it bro i got a flat american pink tongue all right, all right so bro. fucking here's another one at karma kitten three oh Dear TMP, in the fuck, marry, or murder game, instincts say, Chris, Will, Brian. Am I right? That's fuck Chris, marry Will, murder Brian. Yeah, no, that's actually 100%, 100% no. true. Absolutely yeah. accurate. No. If you're a chick, because I'll tell you something, I don't have time. You yeah. know, So if you just want to break off a piece, a little bit of me, yeah. then we can do that. I was actually, Will's a nice guy. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. I was actually thinking, I was, I was telling Chris, and Brian, I don't know how you factor into this equation, but since Chris and I are such good friends, mm-hmm. we wrote a song about it. We um, did. We did, and we performed it, and we're good singers. I don't like being left. I hate when uh, people I was do thinking that. that Chris and I, if we ever sort of fall on hard times with the acting, that mm-hmm. we should open an escort agency where I take the girl out on a date, I chat her up, I have a good time, I ask her all sorts of questions, make her feel special, and then Chris fucks the shit out yeah. of her. Oh, yeah, I God. come in at the end. I just come in at the what end happened? and just come pow, out. pow, 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 pow. Oh. And, then, and then if, if guys, she wants to like cuddle, that's when Will comes back. Guys, and I come back. guys. Yeah. I come back you're, just, and you're just a stunt dick that yeah. comes out of the wall? Yeah, he comes in. Hey, I'll take you out. Oh, yeah, let's go eat. Oh, that's so funny. Look, you got some stuff on your face. And then we get back and then, <laughs> hey, Chris, tag team. Pow, 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 pow. And then I, I see oh. you later. And then Will comes oh. in in a towel and then just cuddles. Oh, come with on, man. I took a shower yeah. just because I was. Come on, man. I took a nice bath by myself. But guys, I do 25 minutes of clean love making. But guys, yeah. I also I also am good at fucking. Oh, okay. All right. First of all, this no, you're is, not because you, you say like, fucking. You sound like you were pooing when you fucking. said that. I'm for good fuck. Oh, God. I'm good to fucking. No. Okay, this is from uh, our, uh, this is from Miss Tab Stevens, the. Uh, oh, my girl, Tabitha. The, who, she was on your other podcast. She's great. I love uh, that. Tabitha my Stevens fa- listens. My favorite porn star. Yeah, she She's listens wonderful. to the show a lot. Former slash current slash I don't know. And what's star. up, Gary? Her, her husband's a good man. All right. Okay, let's calm down. Right. This is. He's uh, my best friend. All right, calm down. At 10 Min Pod. And all of her questions are all the. Okay, she's written in before hashtag dear tmp to all of the guys what size slash shape do you like your women petite average build thick muscular bodybuilding type so that's that's brian that's can, i'll answer for brian brian likes him with dicks and uh, a vagina so he likes that type that of, was a phase i went through in college uh, uh, the my, answer to that is i like i have an I know equal what you opportunity like, though, i'm an equal opportunity employer yeah but, but you, you like, like thick girls too. You like i like thick girls. i like muscular yeah. thick girls with uh, athletic girls and if you're shorter uh, on the short side that's even better but a bubble rump with with olive skin i love bubble rumps i like oh. skinny petite though i like skinny petite but i also like, I like tall and i also like if you're a chick and i like boobs and i like legs and i like faces i i appreciate all women for their their beauty respect God, uh, this is why I come in and do so pow, 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 <laughs> and then you come I'll tell back. You what, I'll tell you what. I'm a big, I'm a big, I'm a big guy. I'm a big, huge football player looking guy, and it is sort of fun when I get around like you know, like a chick who's like about five foot and ninety eight pounds. You like that? You're, you're, that is because uh, you Will know, and I have more the same taste. You're a parade float. I, I Will did and I have parade. <laughs> no, <float. he> doesn't. <laughs> All right? I, did, I dated a girl recently who was about that size, and, and uh, one time I lifted her up with one arm, and she got very, very moist. Yeah, she was um, a five. That was she was five years old. Well, so that's, <laughs> Hey, what the fuck? Hey, 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 put me down. Hey, man. Put me down, hey, daddy. Kids, you can't, you can't kid, joke like that. You can't joke like that. I will fucking I'm flip not joking out about you. me. Did it? He did it. No. Nobody I'll did it. I'll flip out on you, bro. We'll flip out. All right, Brian, All right. what do you got? Um, Here here it is. T- dear T- This is from uh, Arm the Homeless. <laughs> 
Uh, dear Tampi, what was your guy's route to getting famous? How did you guys start out? And advice for people who want to do the same. Here's what I, I advise. First of all, the guys to my right and left are not famous. Okay. I am. Yeah. So they, they, are, they are personalities that you might recognize periodically. I go to high school with you, whatever. I am famous. What I do is I stay true to my expression. I am a giving person. I'm a very vulnerable but very masculine man. And my advice is... Um, that to not try to get famous because Ding. you never will. Yeah. Actually, I agree with Brian, uh, except for the part where he says that I'm not famous because yeah, that I'm, was I'm an international megastar. sex yeah, symbol uh-huh. and megastar. But, Actually, though, wait. It brings up an interesting point in all seriousness. What is fame? Fame doesn't okay, mean Okay, don't anything. go on this fucking rant for fucking fuck's idiot. sake. Shut Jesus up, Christ. you Just fucking idiot. Shut the idiot. fuck up, Brian. <laughs> hey, it's like this. Hey, shut up. Love hey, what you do. Every... Look, look. Love what you do. Do what you love. All that chicken soup for the soul bullshit, but it's true. And if you fucking like doing something, you'll do it your whole life. Fuck do it every single day. But here's what I don't like about Brian. You take every podcast episode and you turn it into the end of Jerry Springer yeah. when he fucking sits down and talks to everybody. No. Nobody gives a fuck about that. Bullshit. You are a son of a bitch. I have shit to say, guys. One, I have dear last TMP, one. Mr. Alex5. Dear TMP, I want to tattoo one of your faces on my penis. Who should it be? Keep in my air mind I have room for just one. Well, you can't put Brian's face on it because his head's too fucking big because that's all he thinks about is himself. Hey. So I suggest what you do is you put Will's face on it because his fucking, he's a hulk of a man and his face looks even smaller. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it I have does. a perfectly proportioned yeah. body. Nah. No, Will's face way, actually technically is four inches tall. Hey guys, yeah, we're going to keep way, this going. Tune in uh, to another episode of this uh, directly proceeding the one you just heard. Yeah, this was make, a lot of fun. You can use the pubes. If you put my face, thanks, you put your, use thanks. the pubes as my long, you have my long hair. You have to tattoo around right, your thanks, warts. All right. Thanks for writing in. Thanks for uh, subscribing and listening on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart Radio, Twitter at 10 Min Pod. Don't do that. And uh, hey, if you're going to buy something on Amazon, click through the link at 10 Minute podta- Podcast.com. Podcast? You, can't, you hmm. suck, man. Hmm. Nobody is. He's cute. He, Will gets real cute when no, he I'm talks not. about Twitter. He's no. cute. He's like, cute. Don't say that. Trying to tweet this. Mm. I was just asking you if something's cute. funny. I know. It's, it's real cute, though, dude, because yeah. you like thinking about no. it. Some podcasts are so. <laughs> Welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the King. Callen. I'm Crystalia, the romantic jaguar. And welcome Come to- on, dude. What? That's his Tell nickname. Us, that's his, he keeps changing his nickname. Nah, well, I'm the romantic jaguar. No, you're I'm not. I'm known as the romantic I'm the, jaguar I'm, on the internet. Everyone that, knows that I'm the Samoan Hulk. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're the man. kid, and he's the romantic jaguar. I'm the, yeah. I'm, I'm the born brave kid. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> that's whatever. All my fans are calling me the born brave kid. That's it's stupid. Awesome. Welcome, I know, but it's welcome, just the way I live my life. Welcome to, welcome to part two of three. Of uh, Dear TMP. We got three episodes this week for you guys. Uh, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So please be sure to tune into all of them. Download them all. Also, share, Brian. Share them with your fucking friends. Also, Brian, make more weird noises all the time when we do but the I podcast. But I mean, sometimes okay. I just want to celebrate us. Okay. I'm gonna, okay. gonna fucking punch you and so everyone goddamn not, hard. And nobody likes you. Chris, uh, I want you to know, Brian, I want you to know, Brian, if I punch you in the head as hard as I could, you would not wake up. Let's no. keep going. Oh, this shit. is from, roll with punches. This is from Miss Carrie Lewis. Mm. Hashtag Dear TMP. Since guys like a chase, is it ever a good idea for a girl to ask a guy out? Hashtag should have been born in the 50s. Hashtag like Brian. <laughs> oh, you little bitch. But, you know what, dude? Um, you know, I, I don't think a girl should. I, don't, I mean, you can do it, but it, it's unattractive. I like it. For me. I don't like it. I think it takes an evolved man to uh, see a nice girl coming and still appreciate her as a, as a mysterious female energy. Yeah, I mean, look, I've had it done to me, obviously, like almost every day. But you know, when Chris. it happens to me, it is uh, it is right from jump. I will say it's a little bit less attractive to me than a girl being like if I'm well, a, because know, I like to be the aggressor. Well, just look at me. I have I mean I have a manly beard. I'm very muscular. I'm cut not, where I need to be. You're you know? not and muscular. My penis is nine inches. You're, so you're yeah. not as muscular as Loose. me. And my penis is I just measure is nine inches and a millimeter. You have a stump, dude. Okay, you look, I don't. But my, mine is yeah. I'm talking soft. Hard, different oh. story, different story. Oh, jeez. Um, I think I think it is important for a girl to to sort of uh, you know play hard to get just a little bit, but you know you also there's also something to be said for two people wanting the same thing, and I, and I think that nowadays there's a lot of this fucking push and pull and this play between people that actually don't mean to get together, or spend any meaningful time together. So well, it's here, important if you. If you want something, if you want a guy, just fucking let him know, but just let him know once. Like, yeah, here's, here's and my, let him know by like touching him and being like, that's so funny. No, but you here's, know what here's, I mean? my, that's here's a good my, idea. Here's, yeah. my, here's my advice. 
if you're going to do something unconventional, like ask a guy out, ask him out, ask him to do something unconventional. For, for example, don't ask him out to dinner and a movie. Right. Ask him to go hiking cleaning. or something like hiking oh, or cleaning. Or, like hey, his, I'm going to go horseback riding if you ever want to come. You clean, know, his, or, clean his place. Yeah, yeah. I'm going hey, surfing let me clean if your you want to come. Yeah. yeah, if you want me to clean your place, I can yeah, clean that's your a place. Good thing. All right. Well, we hope that helped. I can clean your pipes. And thanks, by the way, to all our listeners for writing. That was a good question. Okay, uh, that is a good question. Uh, Rob T. Bow at Rob T. Bow, dear TMP, have have my first open mic Tuesday. Excited but freaked. How would you put? How would you all put five minutes of new jokes together given the circum? You're boring. No, no, no. Uh, hold on. That's a how, how, how would you? A how lot would of you comedians put, like want to be comedians. How would you all put uh, five minutes of new jokes together given the circumstance? It's just you just have to do it. Yeah, it's, you just got to get up. You literally just got to get up and time. feel. You have to go up and feel what it feels like to be on stage before you even can read it. There's jokes. no advice to somebody who's just starting out. Good it's not going to go the way you think yeah. it is. Just get up there and good say for you some that shit. you're trying it, but just yeah. there's no advice. For also, that. now let me add this: you're probably not going to be good and quit. So okay, here we go. I do TV and movies. All right, Will. God damn, we know. God, we know. Television shows and movies all we right. know all right good good luck to you man that's really great I yeah think, no but I do do cool. get the fuck out there get scared yeah not that i know what the here's fuck's another up. one yeah you don't, don't know shit about it tv though. movies don't i don't do stand up okay all right man you're gonna get you're all right so anyway your, uh, flatten your at connor head. spring okay dear tmp when i approach a hot girl and i only have things i shouldn't say on my mind what should i say say those things period say those things period because she needs to know who you are and also if you fucking shake her up and whack her out a little bit you're gonna be on her mind if you walk up and you say yo yo baby I want to kiss you. I want to kiss you on the mouth. What's up? How are you? She'll be like, "What the fuck?" But she'll remember you. Yeah, yeah you don't like, have to say yo yo yo. But... I hate him. I hate him. I don't like him. Hey, where's he going? Come yeah. here. Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah, it is true. It is true to fucking not. Well, kind of. Well, it kind of plays into the other question we were just asked, where it's like you know, fucking be genuine and just yeah, right, whatever. That was well, a girl because the problem is if you have a, if you if you're if you're a lot of guys have problems because they go up to a girl they want they're like all that's going on is I want to fuck you, I want to fuck you, I want to right, fuck you. Right, right. Then they try to act normal. And they're like, just talk. so you end up. Talk, she knows what's going on in your head. Your behavior yep. is going to manifest but, itself in one way or another. But I so, get a bad rap for being honest. Uh, seriously, I say, yo, I want to have sex with you. I want to get naked with you. And then the girl's like, oh my god, what a fucking asshole. Does that work? What are you talking about? Yeah. First of all, you're acting like there are girls that wouldn't do that well, with any random but dude, there are, and there are. Yeah. But okay. There, second of all, second of all, girls don't want you to tell the truth. They don't. They rather you say, hey, come over to my house. Let's hang out. Let's watch a movie. Right. Because, but then I'm the bad guy because I'm like, yo, let's have sex and let's get naked when you know what the fuck's going no, on no but but i will say this there's nothing wrong with a little style so what you do is you let that's a girl true. know you like that's her that's true Wear a and suit, then you, you know she, you let a girl you know you like her and then and then you can be you can say hey come over let's watch a movie or let's grab let's go get yeah. drunk here's let's what go. i was I, here, here's what i was you can't for win. me guys i just walk up and i say hi my name is will all right moving oh, on oh god this yeah, is from, do that. this ah. is from uh at sup girl you i Oh, that's a good one. That's a good that's one. That's a good Twitter uh, Twitter uh, name. Uh, at 10 Min Pod, this question is for Will. I want to build Hulk calf muscles like you. How can I achieve, can't. achieve this? You can't. You can't. I'm a fucking genetic He freak. was born with those fucking calf muscles. My, Let me tell you something. In real life, they're unbelievable. They're bigger, seriously, they're bull than hearts. Brian's head. They're bull hearts. He's got a couple bull hearts. And it's in each in each leg, the uh, those, bull hearts, and they beat. Uh, they, they fuel. Beat. They look like if you if you look up uh, a, a, an image, they have like a, like shroud images of Eric the Terrible, the Viking. That's it looks it like is. his face. I have two Viking faces. They in pulse. My cast. They pulse. They're With, hulking, hey, pulsing. Hey, hey, Brian, <laughs> get right. back from the mic, and also, what, uh, how about when how you, about you, notice, get, wait, you know what? Can I break no, no, it down wait, for a second? Wait, second. Why don't you get so close to the mic and also say too many peace out? Yeah, say fucking. Just fucking. Look how I do. It. Hey guys, sounds. stop coming yeah, down. Just, just do, do, you, you keep coming down. I'm gonna. I'm old gonna, guys gonna, don't know about technology. Right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, don't know about I'm gonna punch you in the face. I'll See boot how I did you right that? in your eyes. All right. Um, want to get booted in the eyes? Uh, huh? Brian, you All got right. one. Uh, Chris Taylor show at Chris Taylor show. Dear TMP, how much beating off is too much? Um, if you lose None. all your energy, if you come, that's that equates <laughs> to about forty. Uh, that's about forty milligrams of uh, serotonin. No shit. If so, you're doing yeah. it, if you're doing it and not doing other stuff, that's too much. You should just beat off. It, well, if you for, come, if you come quickly, then it's fine. But if it's I not, can't just do keep that. Two just hours. keep coming. I can't do that. It's good for your mood. I can't do that. I'm hey, an guys, extreme love maker. I'm a come. romantic jaguar, and that's why they call me that because I don't do that. A lot of times, I do tantric sex, and I just do it because I want to make the girl feel good. And I don't even do it for me. So that's uh, me. So that's me. That's but why, Brian, that's why when I bust, I go. It's been so long. No, just just come and work out all day. That you'll just be releasing serotonin like crazy. Eat dark chocolate. Come and work out. God damn. That's... Yeah, just eat dark chocolate. Come work out. Oh, no, I'm that's coming a... all day. 
I don't yeah. know if that doesn't sound like a healthy yeah. way to live. Yeah. But, That's what uh, I do. But I, I drink beer. I, I come, yeah. work out. Eat chocolate. Yeah. Eat okay. French fries. Okay, okay. that's Calm. not a good no. Work seem, out. I mean, drink it, beer. It's pretty. Yeah. 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 Pretty it good. Doesn't seem that pretty yeah, uh, good for you. hedonistic. Uh-huh. Okay. Here we go. At at Belly Balfour. Uh, <laughs> dear DM, TMP, will either of you ever help Chris out with his living situation so his ass can move out of Starbucks and stop taking pictures of, ra- of random people? I'll tell you what, dude. I, I'm tr- I'm too real with that shit. I will not ever stop doing that. I think okay. Now what this person is referring to? That's a good one. To, I like that one. Yeah, is that Chris, uh, who's who you should follow on Twitter because he's fucking hilarious. At Crystalia. At Crystalia. What he likes to do is he'll if he's when it, when he's ever in Coffee Bean or Starbucks, he'll take pictures of fucking people and the captions are fucking hilarious. So you need to follow Chris and you need to fuck him. Fuck him, dude. I get right up to him, dude, and I there, take pictures. He, there was a guy. He takes there, pictures there was a guy in, and they're uh, fucking hilarious. There was a guy in Intelligentsia and and he had a, a round hat on with a it's Intelligentsia is a coffee. Uh, shop hip place. And, and it's a really hip place and the guy was dressed like a 1920s conductor uh, a train conductor and he had a mustache this this wispy blonde mustache with a wide brimmed like um, hat you'd wear in a straw field and he goes and I get a text I'm behind him and it says yeah guy let me get a muffin and, and shave that mustache real quick please <laughs> All right, uh, at Crystalia and laugh, laugh, laugh your ass off. Okay, yeah, you know, you're not that funny. Way funnier than Brian's website. That's this is this is from uh, at L Nielsen at Tim Inpod. Uh, were you guys wearing pants in your avatar picture? Absolutely I, not. I I, I wasn't. Our, I got it. I was completely. Well, and I'll tell you why he wasn't because our dicks are tied together. That's exactly Whoa. right. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks for hey, thanks for writing in. Uh, thanks for listening and uh, subscribing on uh, on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart Radio. <laughs> Check us out on Twitter at Ten Men Pod. Yeah. And uh, oh, and you can also follow Brian and myself. It's just our names. Yeah. And um, hey, if you're gonna buy something on Amazon, click through our banner link at Ten Minute Podcast and then go buy your Brian, shit. And we you tied our so dicks together. Right I tied our dicks together with coarse hemp rope. Brian, which you look I so dumb right now he was just looking at will Kiki. and he was saying yeah yeah <laughs> while will was doing it yeah kings, we're the christian kings no. we're the christian no, don't kings. stop singing that christian, it christian sounds like kings. a terrorist chant. that's a slippery slope the soldiers slope. of christ you're just you gonna piss people off with us <laughs> even stop. christians we'll put would you like it to the sword <laughs> no 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 why are you in your face why are you singing that why are you describing violently don't speak for me Brian, stop singing that! Yo. Soldiers of Christ. We're not, first of all, we're not Christian soldiers. As long well, as you yeah. agree with us, as long as you agree with us, no, as long not... as you agree with us, you can live. As long, no. as, you us, no. as long as you agree with us, as long as you agree with us, as long as you agree with us, you can live. We're the Christian kings, we're the Christian, Christian kings, kings, and we sit up on high. We will be fed to goats if you don't agree with Jesus Christ. Because oh. goats will eat you, because we command them, because we have Holy Ghost power. <laughs> they will huff your face you and eat your you testicles. Guys. Listen, what? that's not. Why would you describe violently killing people who don't who oppose you? We don't. Rather than we don't, as long as you believe shit. in Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, you're gonna piss people off. No, yeah, you're just gonna piss. You're people pissing off. me off already, yeah. and I'm not even. I'm not even like a. a I mean, I don't even. I don't really know what I believe. Well, in. I'm sort of de- non-denominational okay, well, Christian. Yeah, I was a I'm raised maybe, Roman Catholic. Maybe both of you should sort of be killed in a fire. Killed in a fire. Killed in a fire. That, you're just making up this. this I mean, no I believe believe in sort of a lot of the tenements of Christianity. I'm spiritual, just, you know, like be spiritual. Everyone's equal, and we're all we're all. Okay, so two of you. Hey, welcome to uh, the third, uh, the third part in our three-part uh, series this week. Uh, Dear TMP, this is DMP. Dear TMP, part five. We did this with a couple episodes ago. <laughs> Chris, Chris, fuck off, man. What are you doing? Lean Chris, muscle. I'm flexing. <laughs> Chris is flexing. He's, but he's not even flexing. He's okay, raising he's just, his arm. Yeah, it's really, really annoying. It's really annoying. Looking at it. Um, we did a couple of these uh, a couple of months ago, and uh, it's a lot of fun. We thank you so much for all of our, our uh, and follower God, listeners. And God bless you. At uh, at. 10 Min Pod who've sent in these hashtag Dear TMP questions. Explain Let's keep it, it going. Explain it more, Will. Let's keep explain it going it with these uh, yeah. personal, the personal Jesus. advice questions. This is from at Derek Coleman. Love Nick. Good love guys with that name. <laughs> Derek Coleman. Yeah. yeah. Love that lot, name. A lot of athletes with that name. Sounds like a meat company. Ha- hashtag, <laughs> hashtag Dear TMP. I wish I was more like Will and had no problem with the ladies. That's from another mm, episode. Yep. Any tips Unfortunately. for any tips for a young Tomcat like myself? Well, don't call yourself a Tomcat. And okay. next one. Okay. That, there, that's a good tip. That's a hot tip. <laughs> Brian, do, are there any tips go, for him? But do no go tip. up to girls and go, meow. 
No. If you're calling yourself a Tomcat, you should just... Hey, no offense, Derek Coleman, but fuck off, man. Call yourself... Here's what you call yourself. Derek Coleman. And here's also what you do. You don't want to be like Will if you want to get chicks. Hey, 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 hey. You don't want to be like Will if you want to get chicks. I wheelbarrow. I wheelbarrow the chicks. I fireman carry and wheelbarrow at the same time. What do you mean? You hold their legs and you... No, I fucking fill fill a wheelbarrow and I got one on each shoulder as I run down the fucking highway. Yeah, and you're transporting them because that's what you do, but you never fuck them. No, I transport them. I crush their minds with my dick. You won't be like Will. Hey, but Derek Coleman. Derek Coleman, no hard feelings. Thanks this for is, listening. This is at ZomCon Love. Dear TMP, dating in parentheses, what's the best way to show a guy you're interested other than flashing your boobs? Well, well there's no better way. There is no better way. I could be on fire and uh, I was like, oh, my boobs, pull me out. And if you said, you want to see my boobs, I'd be like, yeah, yes. Yeah. I'd, it'd just yeah. take me right out of it. So keep- n- nothing gets a guy's attention faster than, you know, do you want to see my boobs? Everybody uh, says yes. Well, I think what you should do is probably. I think the thing is, is it, it, what I like to know when a girl's interested is when she's listening to me and we're talking and she's touching me and being like, "Oh my god, that's so funny!" You yeah. touch the arm, or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? She but it would be genitals. it would be cool if she just ripped her shirt apart and had her tits out when she did that. Oh, uh, yeah, but then you know that's also illegal. So I, if you're hanging yeah. out in the park, she put person. her fingers down the front of her pants. And then okay, okay gross, dude, your voice like is getting so yeah. creepy. No, I'm just saying, I like. Br- Breast? Yeah, oh. I know. Like when a girl touches. Ew! Oh, what are you God, doing? Don't say that like that. Why are you rubbing? Oh, you're I don't know. I just uh, actually he's got a there pat is of butter, and he's just rubbing it in circles. <laughs> there is no better way for a woman to show a man that she's interested rather than uh, showing him her boobs, because yeah. we are fucking programmed to suck them tits. Hey, hey, uh, hey, 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 first hey, of all, hey, you hey, sound hey. like a robot when you say Jesus it like that. Christ. We are programmed to we suck them are tits. Programmed to up. Them tits. We are programmed to suck them tits. Guys, hello. Guys, I find my it very name offensive. is my name is Robert. I am programmed to suck your tits. That's a terrible fucking. That's a terrible hello. robot you, too. My name is the, Robert. No, because the first robot will sound almost human. Hey, hi guys. My name's Robert. Well, I would like the, to the suck first your robot, tits. Yeah. You, the number you've reached is no longer in service. I'd like to suck them yeah. tits. My name is Robert. I want sucking tits. That's terrible, first that's of all. That's a really weird that's, robot. That's an autistic I'll, robot. I want sucking tits. All, right, uh, all right. So that's a robot okay. with a nasal problem. Uh, Here we go. Chris. At Solitary yeah. Rose 02. Dear TMP, how can my hair get to be as thick and luscious as Crystalia? Probably can't. Here's yeah. the deal. If you're a fucking dude and you want to grow your hair out long... Definitely don't do that because most of you have shitty hair That's true. that grows long yeah. and you need to cut it. Yeah. Y- 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 you're true. bored Chris, and y- y- you shouldn't you know, grow your I, hair out. When I grow my hair and long, I should grow up. my hair out because it's great. My hair grows up and, and br- it looks like a, like a winter hedge. If you want your hair to look like Brian's, what you got to do is you got to walk around all Hollywood and Venice and Santa Monica and pull it all out and put it on the sidewalk because that's hey, where it is over hey, the past hey, few hey, years hey. it's been it, coming out. Well, and, everybody, and everybody knows that. And everybody knows if that. I grew my hair out long, uh, it would probably look like an elderly uh, African-American woman's pubic pubis okay well that's actually i did well no it's just kind of kind of it's kind of sparse i don't want long hair we've covered this before but if i had long hair like chris i would look like randall tex cobb or uh, ogre from the revenge of the nerds i don't look good i I grew my hair out long once when i was 19 when i could grow it chris has some fucking rock star hair he has the hair that the guys in kiss like build wigs to look like i always say he should just walk around carrying a guitar across his body (laughs) no i wouldn't Uh, do that yeah you you should should, you should should and and it's in his and it's in his family his his father has ridiculous fucking Beethoven hair. hair. Beethoven hair. It's yeah. fucking unbelievable. But I uh, like. My, mm, yeah. Yeah. My hair is so carry good. Jump, my jump hair. In your let pocket. me say this. My hair is so good. I practically play the piano. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, j- uh, Wait, I got one. Hold on. Oh. Hold your fucking horses. Okay, this is from. <laughs> Um, I want you to imagine everybody that when I said hold your fucking horses I was pressing my thumb into Brian's bicep uh-huh. I wish you were okay so I'm going to read three from one dude who they all made me laugh and uh, okay. oh, we'll, cool. and then we'll, we'll answer one of them okay. this is from uh, at slam dunk bill and good on you for some funny questions he, uh, hashtag dear TMP which member of TMP would survive in a hunger game sort of scenario my bet is on the Samoan that's me no, no that's me true. I would have the gift I would give everybody the gift of laughter yeah. everyone would be my friend yeah but I have strong very fast legs so I would run to the food faster I, and I haven't seen the movie. Uh, the next one is hashtag Dear TMP. Should I watch the forty-one-year-old virgin? If you want kno- your eyes to bleed, <laughs> it's, there's more here. Mm. Should you watch? Should I bleed. watch the forty-one-year-old virgin who knocked up Sarah Marshall and felt super bad about it, or water or water my cactus? Water your cactus and then put it in your eyes and have your eyes bleed because that will be more fun than watching that movie. That's Please, please movie. don't make fun of my of, of my my artistic. It's a, it's a movie uh, that Brian, Brian made. That Brian, movie. If, I watched that movie. I literally I watched that movie and as I was watching that movie, I didn't even realize it after I turned that movie off when the 
credits rolled, I got up and there was a huge shit stain on the couch. I had no idea. The movie made me shit myself. <laughs> I had no idea. And it what? smelled so right. bad, I realized. Here's a, you know. And here's a third one from uh, at Slam Dunk Bill. Hashtag Dear TMP. Is there any hope for a guy with beautiful eyes but little to no chin? And I feel that's really what he's getting yeah, at. Yeah, just rob trains. You know what? On he's horseback. a fuck. But. <laughs> Rob but he's trains a, on horses. Because he's aerodynamic, is what you're saying. No, you have to. They wear handkerchiefs oh. over their nose and mouth. Yeah, and 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 then all you see is their eyes. So or never Billy, see your Billy chin. the Kid apparently had really ice blue eyes. He had very very. And there's only one known picture of Billy the Kid, and his uh, girlfriend who lived on said it didn't it did him no justice. I but took- he but he had a very he had no chin and he had very light blue eyes. So. Hey, slam dunk, Bill. You might. I think he's sort of masking his no chin if he's being self-deprecating here with his sense of humor. You have a sense of humor. You don't need a fucking chin. Pretty good. But, Damn right. But I yeah. have some fucking eyes like two beautiful pools, so um, I, I identify with them. Oh there. god! And you chicks, mean because they're wet? Because you're always crying? Because you're just a fucking baby? Hey, hey, hey what the hey, fuck? Man. You're a baby. Hey, he's man. emotional. That's not around. right. You're a baby. Don't, don't say turn that. Shit around, That's, man. All right. This is at at. George Eradicator. Dear TMP, how does one achieve a barrel of snakes like the one Brian refers to as his back? Um, well, uh, Jeez, I my, wonder if my, Brian could, could answer this question for 30 minutes. Well, or my not. back routine is crazy. I climb a rope. I, um, I, put, I, I throw two buckets of water over my back with a stick and run sand. <laughs> I, I practice punching drills for hours at a time, and I jab rice with an open hand, kung fu style. And when you do that for ten fucking years, then come to me and we'll talk about Brian, a back routine. Brian, I, I lift weights four days a week. Ask me how much I did, how many, how many, how many pounds I lifted in okay, rows. Don't lie. You're gonna lie. Don't lie. No. How, how much do you row? Just today, 745 pounds. That's, That's a lie. I maxed, I maxed the fucking plates out of 300 and had to have two trainers standing on the fucking, That's a fucking thing. Lie. He's a liar. Nobody can do that. It's you're not, not, even, you're I not could, a fucking gorilla. I could rip your head off. Um, thanks for. Hey, thanks so much for writing in all these awesome questions uh, to at 10 min pod with hashtag dear TMP. It was, it was a blast. Thanks so much for listening and subscribing on iTunes. We're on Stitcher smart radio, Twitter, of course, at 10 min pod. If you're going to buy something on Amazon, click the banner, the Amazon banner on our 10 minute at 10 minute podcast.com. Chris, don't, don't do that. How awesome would I be in a Western yeah, as like the bad movie? guy in a Western? Yeah. Yeah, you'd be in a bonnet on a no. cow. No, I would not be in a yeah, bonnet. You'd ride a cow. I'd have a six shooter. I'd sneak up behind people and grab them by their scruffy Will, beard hair and Will, shoot them in the head. you're too big for a horse. I'm not too big for a horse. Yeah, they have Clydesdales. Are. Well, you're not. Even Some Clydesdale. podcasts are slow and you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to 10 Minute Podcast. Welcome to the motherfucking 10 minute podcast. My name is Will Sasso. This is Brian <laughs> the Kid Gallon. Yeah. I'm Chris D'Elia, the demigod. So, oh, what? Don't say the demigod. Well, That's I, not I, your nickname. Look, dude. just because I said motherfucker at the top doesn't mean you need to be cool. Oh, I'm not. Wait, what? I'm not trying you to You called cool. yourself a demigod. Yeah, That's man. I, no, so yeah. arrogant. The I demigod? Didn't, I didn't call myself that. I didn't call myself Who's that. I mean, I just you did, that? yeah. You, yeah, you just did, though. <laughs> Brian, Brian, what? we're going to have to have a chat with you about making silly noises for no, no fucking no, reason. No, because that's not silliness. When I fight now, I want to tell you this, when I wind up, if I'm kicking and punching, I go, <laughs> and then you hear that. <laughs> hey, oh, hey Brian, don't. <laughs> Could you straighten your so, mic up? So when you're, when you're fighting me, you go, hey, what's up? And I'm like, hey, hey here's my left. Hey, okay, don't. And then I kick you. Oh. Fucking just those levels are terrible. So, but listen though, if I'm yeah. <clears throat> if I'm a uh, fucking stop, <clears throat> now, stop. Let me ask you when you're doing that. Yeah. And I'm floating around because I'm a demigod. No. And you can't hit me because I'm faster I said, than I said, motherfucker. Shit. You're faster than shit. I'm faster than shit. Flying out of a rhino's ass, or what do you mean shit? Like no, shit just, falling from a bird? Shit. Like not really shit actual shit. I'm just saying oh, like okay. um, it's just fast as shit. Yeah. So you can't hit me. I love those. Uh, I love sayings like that. Like, I'm faster than shit through a goose. I'm about as happy as, as an itchy pig gets I'm, a rough post. I'm crazier than a shit house rat. Yeah, all that weird <clears> stuff. Uh, I'm in more trouble than a blind turkey on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> I'm, I, fu- I fuck more girls than Chris D'Elia. Um, hey, Chris. <laughs> what? You took it a weird way, man. Yeah, man. Whoa, keep, hey, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, man. You keep self-celebrating. No, I'm not self-celebrating, though. You self-celebrate thanks. a lot. How? How? Because you called yourself a demigod, then you like said, ah, I'm, I'm well, thanks. <laughs> I He's not complimenting you. Just said, you just said I was a demigod. I didn't. Yeah. I said you called yourself a demigod. Okay, so. It sounds weird. Anyway, I wanted to have a serious conversation. Oh, I sure. I was thinking about, I watched this thing on Paris Hilton and on uh, Kim Kardashian, and then I was looking at my culture as a whole. 
and I thought to myself, we're, we're a little obsessed with celebrity. And not all, I was on a cruise, I told you guys, and I had... Um, I love how this, I love how stories from this cruise will be spread out over the next like well, month and a half. Well, whatever. But I had, I, I noticed people not were relevant very, to the story. very excited that I was the guy from The Hangover. The point is, at least I've done something to be recognized. We live in a society with people who do nothing. They have a bone structure that cuts light well, and they make a porn, and they get... Um, they make fifteen, twenty million dollars a year, mm-hmm. and so I'm, I was trying to think of what actually bothers me about that, and it has nothing to do with jealousy because I don't want to be those people. It has more to do with the fact that I think it's a, it's an indictment on a culture that celebrates nothing, celebrates false gods, celebrates things that are shiny and have zero fucking substance. You sound like you're about ten seconds from joining Al Qaeda. Well, yeah, you do. Are you making a what do you call those yani, videos? Yani, well, hello, what about this? No, but you're you're right. What pisses me off about that is when uh, you become you know make all the money, whatever, but don't say things like they matter. Yeah. Well, that's, after that, well, that's that's actually my father that's would always say when he'd see an actor. Um, pontificating about yeah. politics my father would yeah. be like listen you got a set of genes right. that make it possible for you to pretend well it doesn't mean you should be uh fucking uh pontificating yeah. and telling me which way to vote right yeah which yeah. i think uh which well i think i think, think, I, think it, I think it comes down to this i think people become famous for a reason now um you know if you're an actor comedian like uh these guys here and me you know maybe it's a big movie if you're if you're zach galifianakis then it's the hangover right yeah. like people love that and movie. because he's funny and and he yeah, works well, for f- but but know. that aside people love that movie i'm just using it as an example so what do they do they make another one right. so i think right. if you're kim kardashian you should be forced to suck ray j's dick on the internet again uh just to remind everybody how you <laughs> right. got to where you is that how she she got famous. Yeah, well, that's yeah, exactly she was how she got tape. famous. She I'm just saying, tape. if that's what's up, if wow. that's how you started out, because since we all like to hear the classics, you know, like <laughs> yeah. like Kiss, yeah. Kiss got back together, right? And so what, what, they to play? Hear, what do they play? They played Detroit Rock oh, City, okay. and you know, yeah. so she stuff. should have she should have a revival tour. She where should she, where she goes with Ray J and sucks his dick on the on the stage. Oh. She should. What? No, I'm just saying they you should. You guys ready? You guys. And Paul Stanley comes out. Hey, y'all ready to see Kim Kardashian sucks? Uh, but Kim uh, Ball Stanley sounds like a uh, like an a older like a, black comedian. I was gonna say, sounds yeah. like a lot like a black comedian. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah. and then they would have opening acts, yeah. and they would have lesser known people. But doing why? Acts. Why? But here's my question: Did <laughs> Kim Car- acts. Did Kim Kardashian know that the tape she was making was going to be leaked? On of the course internet? not. Well, oh, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't. Know. Know. I heard. I heard that, and this is just hearsay. But I heard that the mom tried to put it out there. Oh my god, that doesn't surprise me. But that that is I, I that is a that is a family that seems to. Um, worsh, celebrate. Uh, then again, they've made a lot of money, and it's something to do, and they get to be fabulous. And and I guess maybe don't use that word. Yeah, maybe no. that's what girls like that no, like. But, and I, what's the dad's I, name? Bruce. What's Bruce Jenner. It? Bruce Jenner is he? And he, but he's and how, what percent total is he on his way to becoming a jaguar? I forget. <laughs> Is it by Jaguar? 60 you mean you mean puppet Jaguar? You mean right? because yeah. he has no nose? You know he had a nose job back in the '70s because okay. he wanted to be a movie star. After he won, you know why he's yeah, he famous? Won. Yeah, yeah. He won the decathlon right. in the Olympics, mm-hmm. and so he was he was the greatest athlete in the world. He's very very good looking, and right. then he decided to get a little upturned nose. He decided oh. I want this isn't good enough. I'm going to get a, a little. I want a little upturned nose, and. Um, uh, and and that's going to make me famous. Mm-hmm. And uh, it it didn't seem to do well, that. Well, same thing goes for him. Then he should have to run in the Olympics again. And if he doesn't, uh, he should get a uh, fucking shot out of a, a cannon, or or flung, uh, <laughs> or just get another. But you're nose very job. random. You're kind of an emperor who's very random. Yeah, a trebuchet. He should be he should be shot from a trebuchet. Trebuchet is like a catapult. Yeah, it's a Guess catapult. Guess who didn't know he that at be... this table? The that yoker guy. over here to my left who never you're, reads you're, you're any. Really close me, up Brian, let me ask you. Question. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Next time you talk, can you put the microphone inside yeah. your mouth? Brian, that would be really helpful. Yeah, this is Sorry, gonna, you're this popping be a your lot keys. Of, this will be a lot of fun to mix uh, for whoever does that. Me. Um, yeah, we, we should shove. We should uh, dump uh, Bruce Jenner into a trebuchet, and we should cut the fucking rope. I want to be out there. I want to be. 
I, I want to wear a top hat and a three piece well, suit. This is and very I wanna, weird. Are you going to cut want, the rope? And I'm going to fucking cut, uh, rear back with a corsair or a pirate sword of some sort. I'm going to fucking come back through with all my might. I'm going to be okay. s- pointing at him with one hand, cut okay. my own hand off, okay. cut through Why the rope. Why would you cut your Why own would you hand just off? Just to fucking show him. And then if he fucking survives, he gets another nose job. What? Because people have to do the same shit. Wait. Look, you know, most people know me, even though I've been working since my my okay, you early to mid teens oh, as God. an actor. Most people Shut know up. me from from Mad TV, uh, where I started when I was just twenty two years old, oh, just oh, a God. fucking hairless puppy. Brian, you can come up on the mic a no, little no. bit too. So hold on, though. Stop but, controlling but, but, where I fucking. But people like that stuff. So if I ever pop out an impression or an impersonation or do some fun stuff, that people go, oh yeah, that's fun. So I can go back to that. <clears throat> that's my that. That's my, you know, right. that's sort of my... my um, Home base. Yeah. So, g- Kim Kardashian needs to suck dick. But hey, let me... S- trebuchet or whatever? Fuck yeah. that. I don't want to know what it is. I don't give a shit. It You're doesn't still on matter. That? Who gives a fuck? Trebuchet? It's I don't a know what a fucking catapult. Trebuchet is. I don't care. Yeah. I don't want to know. And that doesn't make me a dumb person. Okay? Yeah, it does make n- me a n- dumb n- person. N- no, it doesn't. <laughs> you, and see, you're not a smart guy. N- I'm a smart guy. and You're autistic. You're a working autistic. No, I'm not. But... But, uh, that's fine. I'll do respect to autistic um, people. No. So yeah. I am very artistic, though. I do a lot I of painting. I said art. Um, so, um, yeah. One, hey, Brian, here's the deal. Yeah. You're making me mad the way you're talking into the mic. Brian, okay. You guys, I, have to tell the, I have to tell the audience yeah, what's yeah, happening. What the fuck? Brian started off the show with his hand in front of his mouth, talking off to one side. Then he fucking swallowed the mic like he was Kim Kardashian. Then he backed about two feet off of it. and thank, you guys are bullying me. We're not you're, bullying you're you. You're fucking bullying my, my distance, my mic so distance. So, Brian, uh, sum up your point. What were you trying to say? My point is I think that, that human beings have a natural need to... to um, Get shot out of a trebuchet no, 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 if they no. fuck around. I think I Kim think that Kardashian the most and Ray J should be in a '69 and shot out of a because fucking trebuchet. Because they represent Tim, style you know, over substance. You want to know substance first, style you know second. Tim, Kim, you want to know Kim Kardashian's latest tweet? Yes. Yeah. I hate spiders. That's her uh, latest okay. tweet. Brilliant, so here's the deal. Brilliant. 15 million followers because she fucking wow. sucked Ray J's dick, and now she says I hate spiders and everyone. Brilliant. Loves them. Hey, thanks for That's listening. That's an indictment on our culture. Sure. Not on her. Thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast and for subscribing and listening on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart Radio. Check us out on Twitter at 10 Pod. And, uh, hey, if you're going to buy something on Amazon, go through the link at uh, 10 and uh, We'll make millions. Oh, and you can also get some free other stuff. <laughs> I did a goal workshop for myself the other day. A I, goal uh, workshop? Yeah, I wrote, I wrote down where I want to be in 20 years, who I want to be. Okay. And I realized that's the most important thing a man can you're do You're going to be dead. <laughs> Don't. You're, Say you, that, you, people dude, don't live to be I, 110. Uh, don't, don't. Did you make a vision board, you yeah, piece of I shit? Yeah, I did. And why am I a piece of shit? Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10 Minute Podcast. Welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Ryan, the kid has a vision board calendar. I'm Chris D'Elia. That's the worst nickname I've no, ever heard. No, Brian, it's not. the kid has a vision board. Well, I, I, I see what I want and who I want to be in Technicolor, which is one of the reasons I'm so uh, successful. I, I really I Who you want to be I like, be. you mean Joe Rogan? That's not who <laughs> you I... You see Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan's one of my best friends. That's not who I want to be, okay? I want to uh, be... Have you seen the, the movie The be, Fan with Robert De Niro? No, have that's you ever seen not, that? Is he Wesley Snipes' best friend? No. In that movie? Or no, no, I'm oh, not. he's not, Okay. <laughs> I want to be. I want to be. I want to be. Uh, How about single all, white female? Have you seen that one? Guys, single white female. Jennifer, Jennifer, I want to be all powerful. Je- the, all the so girls named Jennifer. So I can subjugate the two of you. I want the two of you as my gimps, and I will dress you up in rubber, and yep. I'll keep you in a fucking dungeon. Brian, Brian, if you ever dream about dressing me up in rubber yeah. and keeping me in a dungeon, With a zipper mouth, and you, you better fucking wake up and apologize, or I will fold you in half and throw you on top of a four-story building, my friend. No, no you're not that strong. Oh, you're taking I, I'm this not. Shit too, too far. Brian, I'll snap. I'll put my fucking knee in your back and separate your bones like dude, you are a chicken in a French culinary school. Dude, I can I can fight. I am f- I'm fast. You slippery, can fight. You may flexible, fight. I just des- I destroy. And I own a sword. <laughs> and one of my goals is to kill you with a fucking sword. I want to chop your That's stupid impossible. head off. I'm the Highlander. Well, I- all right. So I what, don't. What do you, what? I don't like either of you guys. <laughs>
I'm Chris, gonna be honest. Chris, Chris, the dynamic of the show depends on us I enjoying know, each other's know, but, company. So We're friends. I, I, am I supposed to? We're friends. Am I supposed to fake it? I mean, okay, guys. Okay, yeah, you guys are fucking so funny. We, we have a good. Where time. do you want to be in twenty years, you yo-yo? Let's see. I'll be thirty-five. So <sighs> what I want to do is, I want to be tooling around in a fucking cherry red. Ferrari. Okay, you're so materialistic. No, I'm not. Because guess who's in there? My what? father. Oh. Okay, and it's very sweet. That and my brother. Sweet. That's great. And we're going out. We're cruising. What we're is your getting... father? Is your is your brother sitting on your father's lap? Because it's a Ferrari. We're getting tail. We're getting tail. <laughs> Three of you are getting tail. We're getting tail. Clan? It's a family I'll, thing. No, I don't think your mom we're would appreciate that. We're pulling all sorts. We're getting. White chicks, Asian chicks, caramel Sunday. We're getting black chicks. We're getting caramel Sunday. I, don't, I heard Method Man say it once, and that's like that's. that's okay, the so kinda... your your idea is to be with your dad, your brother. Yeah. Your dad's obviously married to yeah. your mom, and you guys want to be getting oh, tail. Who, in a who else said that? Fife Dog said that, didn't he? Yeah. I like my tail. girls. What? Brown, butter yellow, pecan. We're getting butter Indian pecan. Haitian, We're getting butter pecan. We're from getting the... caramel deluxe. We getting ice cream. You're not a, you you're know not what I'm talking about when I yeah. say ice cream. Yeah. You know what I'm talking Not about. Yeah, really. that, that creamy, creamy, that creamy poon poon. Oh, na na. That oon na na. That uchi wali. Okay, stop. <laughs> We're getting that uchi wali. Stop. What are you, a rapper? What no, I'm not a rapper. I'm a fucking comedian. Yeah. But I'm being serious right now. And we're getting tail. We're in a three-seater because it's the future. <sighs> we're in a three-seater Ferrari with the, <laughs> okay. the titties are out. The top is exposed. Yeah. It's out. We're fucking, we what? all have really great Beethoven hair. Oh, it's flying Christ. in the back. People behind us are going. Because right, our hair's fucking with their nostrils. So you haven't cut it in 20 years, obviously. No, 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 no. And we're getting premium caramel sundae. <laughs> Would you fucking... We're getting premium uchi I don't know that you're... We're I getting mean, I'm sure premium you're... butter I'm sure pecan. I'm sure your <laughs> brother would like that assessment of the future. I don't know that your father would. Yeah, and what do you? What else do you want to be doing in 20 years besides be getting premium, quote-unquote, caramel I'll tell you what else sundae. we're doing. We drive by in our fucking drop-top, titties exposed, three-seater, okay? i punch you in and the And this face. is what we're looking at, a billboard. On Sunset Boulevard. Oh, Who's on that billboard? You. Me. Yeah, all right. Okay. Me. Yeah. Doing, Me. What? You, doing you. what in your new I TV am. show? What are you doing? No, 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 no. I, w- I wish I was doing TV because cable TV is pretty good in the years, into 20, 20 years ahead. But what I'm doing is I'm doing a one man movie. <laughs> <laughs> one it's man movie. Dildo. What's it it's called? A, it, you know what's good? It's called The Shut In. <laughs> and you know what it's about? It's what? about a guy who's got agoraphobia, but what he. <laughs> Well, guess what happens? A what? storm comes to town. Yeah. And my character says, take me, guys. It doesn't matter. Does I don't the give a shit. storm blow the house down? Oh, but he's got agoraphobia. He can't leave. Okay, okay? but so and guess who wins? Down. And guess who wins an Academy Award for that? Okay. You, you mean you. He means yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He means himself, everybody. Okay, oh, that's okay. great. Will, where do you where do you see yourself in 20 uh, you years? Know, guess really? what I take to the fucking Academy oh, Awards? Fuck what? My titties exposed Ferrari I wanna, three-seater. I'll, I'll, and then I'm, and and I'm then with I, two dimes. I come out Caramel of nowhere. Caramel Sunday and Vanilla Delight. I come out, that's out of nowhere, the one I come out of nowhere <laughs> with a fucking spear. And I and I and I phalanx you with uh, my spear. Uh, in twenty in twenty years, you know, I don't know where I'll be, but I, I know I'll be happy. And I'd like to grow a gigantic Santa beard, <laughs> and I'll be I'll either be about fifty pounds heavier than I am now, or fifty pounds lighter than I am now, and I'll just be a really uh, real fucking happy guy. And I've always loved the mountains and the ocean. I'm from British Columbia, Canada, so I'll be living in a fuck. You can call it a fucking cabin. I don't know if there's such a thing as a. I think you should call it a ca- cabin, like a mansion cabin. Uh, 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 um, a man, a mambin, okay. a man, that a mambin. Stupid. Um, and and I'm gonna have a family. I'm gonna have a wife that I love very much. I'm gonna have kids. And uh, I'm her? also You're gonna be fucking her all the I'm time. I'm gonna be fucking her a lot, and I'm not gonna be wearing a condom. I'm gonna be coming in her a lot, and making, a lot of, you, you gonna, making a lot of kids. Are you gonna, gonna fuck your wife? Or you're, gonna, you're gonna make love to your wife. Uh, you bo- yes, yes, sir. Nice, and she's nice gonna be answer. One, she's gonna be one lucky lady because I got a fucking. Are you ever gonna I gotta, screw your wife? Because I, I got a fucking hog like a. Fucking tin of Morton salt is what it looks Meaning like. Meaning it has legs on it, like a hog. No, and it's, it's salty. And it's, it's fucking got a salty. And you it's sweat gross from your and dick. it's pink. Uh, fucking, fucking, it, the, the, it's the, hairy. It, fucking, it, Kevin Durant couldn't fit his hand around this thing. And, um, and I would be, and I'd be happy, but I'd also have a little, I'd have a little room downstairs in the bottom of the cabin in the basement. That's for crying. That's for, <laughs> for crying. Because your life that where, I, where, you look where back I'll, at your life. Be, and you don't I'll have a three-seater be, Ferrari like, Muh. no, I don't need it. I'll have, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll be producing a podcast like this by myself, doing fun characters, connecting with my audience. With six I'll listeners. also, I'll also have, the uh, technology will have advanced by then and because I'm kind of a tech dork, I'll know how to use it and I'll have something called the button. And that button, I'll use it to kill people. 
Oh Jesus! What I'll be, able, I'll be, I'll be able to years? observe my enemies Why and you, kill them with a and drone I'll, or what? Uh, yeah, and dro- he's killing. And he hits the button. And he hits the button. And they get fucking eaten up. And then I. But guess I, who doesn't get eaten up? Ma. Well, no, okay. I'm not going to kill well, you, Chris. I'm not going to kill you. Thank you. The reason you've been allowed to live every day, I'll look at you. Haven't been allowed. Haven't been allowed. I'll be watching you fucking driving down the PCH in your three wheeled Ferrari you. with Matt and Bill, and you'll be driving. I'll be like, that guy's a fucking happy guy. I can respect that. He's got fucking his, his long. They all have long Beethoven hair. They're having a good time. Don't push and the I will button, just Will. Because, don't just, push the button. Just because I don't decide to, button. you've been allowed don't, to breathe don't another button. day. Don't push and I'll look at I'll look at Brian, and I'll be like, he'll die any day soon anyway. So I'm not going to kill you either. Thank you for Hey Brian. Hey Brian. Thank you for pushing the button. Brian. Welcome, Bit Killer Jones. Here comes Bit Killer Jones Don't out of the fight. That. No, because he's Bit Killer Jones, hey. man. He just fucking you were doing your bit, and he starts to cry. Okay, saying, okay. Don't push I, the button. Let me, let me, let me just stop. Hey, I, okay, we're, we're gonna let. Killer, I'm, gonna, Jones. I'm gonna let the audience no. in on something. No, I'm speaking directly to the audience right now. Thank you so much for listening to the Ten Minute Podcast. Here's what's up. Sometimes Chris and I feel that Brian will kind of jump on something that we're doing, yeah. and he'll kill a That's bit. That's a fucking lie, because your my fans don't agree. My fans well, are like, if he ever calls you Big Killer Jones again, we'll rush his fucking. I want to hear from your fans. His Actually, here's what your fans say. <laughs> because those are the kind of people that are fans of you. Okay. <laughs> so I personally this, looked at your Facebook fan page. Here's, I looked under. They couldn't spell their names right. Here's here's <laughs> here's what Brian. Here's what one of Brian's fans. I like Brian Callen and Sesame Street. Yep. Okay. Here, here's what Brian Callen's fan does. When is Joe Rogan on? That's your shit. Because they think you're Joe Rogan. Because that's, that's who you want. Brian, to be. where that's, where will you be in twenty years? I will be well. I will clearly be. I'll be sitting in a throne, and I will be delegating. I will make be making decisions that move entire peoples, <laughs> and and that either that either uh, move entire peoples into uh, something beautiful, or if I choose into into a, a pit of fire, like into, my death room, into a lake of fire. So are you bit killer? Uh, you bit killer or bit stealer? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Hey, don't go. You might be bit don't, stealer. Guys, I've never stolen a thing in my life. Except for hearts. Not a thing in my life except for hearts. Hey, uh, all right. I don't, I don't disagree. Hey, thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast. Thanks for subscribing and, and uh, downloading on iTunes. We're on Stitcher what Smart Radio. Doing? So what? They know you that. Know who no, but you? you don't fucking get it. You don't get why you know I who do thanks this. You? Yeah, you know who thanks you? Mm. And Stop you know who gets mo. it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're on Twitter at Ten Min Pod. If you're gonna buy something through, <laughs> if you're gonna buy something through Amazon, if you're gonna buy something on Amazon, like a bag of poo, <laughs> like a bag of poo. You, you wanna buy a bag of poo? You can do that. Go to tenminutepodcast.com and hit our Amazon link. You'll be supporting and you'll the show get a free here. Free bag of poo. Just don't send it to me. <laughs> we I, we need to poo. find a way to sell I want poo. A bag of human. I don't you like fucking people. sit up and don't you use the fucking me. microphone. I don't like. Don't I point, need to control you because take you're your a fucking out of my idiot. Face. Take your finger out of my face. You're I'll bite it right idiot. off. I Listen just, and fucking talk I, a fist length away from the microphone. I won't. I won't. Stop I won't. I'll fighting, do what I want. guys. I'm a free spirit. If yep. I was a bird, I'd be a fucking bird. eagle. It's amazing I don't have Some wings. Podcasts are so You know what eagle you'd be? Eagle, no, you Brian wouldn't. No, you eagle wouldn't. Cow. You know what eagle you'd be? The fucking blue eagle from the Muppets. That's the hey, eagle that you'd be. No, that, there's no such thing Why as a blue eagle. Why do we always come here? I guess we'll never Is that know. Brian? It's like some kind of torture to have to watch the show. Welcome to uh, the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Eagle Callan. I'm Chris D'Elia, fucking fireman. I'm a fireman. Fireman. I'm a fireman. You're a Wait, firefighter. You're a firefighter, or you're yeah. a fight. You're fireman. No, I'm. I'm. I'm a fire. I fight fires and save lives. I, I literally not, do that. You're an actor. And I a use comedian. the pole that goes up and down on the fucking thing. No, when the, bro, when the bro, you don't even know what it's off. called. You're so top heavy that if you had to carry a rope upstairs, your knees would break. They no. would shatter. No, no, I'm top heavy. You know why I'm top heavy? From always, I. That's how I get up. I climb the pole. Uh, uh, oh, that's fucking. Uh, that like a stripper. Yeah. No, but like so a doesn't that man. doesn't that burn your fucking hairy legs? This is how Chris would fight a fire. Oh, he's standing on the street going, please, it's not working. I'm blowing. And then okay. he starts spitting on the fire. Yeah. Hey Brian. Yeah. Hate you. <laughs> Don't say that. Hate you, bro. No, that's really that's really hateful. I want to play. I want to play a message that Chris left Brian. Okay. Oh yeah, this is a message. I want to. I want to play the yeah. um, voice. Message. And I was minding my own business. Brian, shut up.
Hey, man, just dropping a line to you to let you know. Hate you, dude. Hate you, bro. Because I'm the man. And nobody can fuck with me. Not you, especially. Oh, I am the man. Nobody can fuck with me here Okay, what is that? What was no, that? I'll tell you what. Because man. sometimes your friends need to be reminded where the fucking pecking order is, okay? <laughs> You, it's so fucking aggressive and no, hostile. You fall. You You're fall making a beak with your hand. You, under me. I don't fall under you. You are under me. I am Loki. You kneel before me. Why are you guys all over each other I today? You kneel, kneel before me. I am the king of Asgard. What? And you kneel below I me. I won't kneel be- below yeah, you. I you kneel will. I kneel before no man. I you kneel before I am no man. I am uh, a demigod. You're not a demigod. I you, am, no man. You long-haired hippie. No, he's I got some fucking modern he's hippie. Got, he's got some hair like a king. Yeah, yeah that's no. right. Uh, I do. No, you have a hair Look, like a fucking. I want to apologize to our modern listeners. hippie. I want to apologize to our listeners. Chris and Brian are actually they're going through something. They have I to wanna, get it out. I want to. I want to. I want to apologize to our listeners too for having to listen to this fucking you plebeian fu- when there's so, demigods. Don't call me a you. plebeian. You want to fight? I'll fight you right now, bro. Hey, dude. There'll be there'll be two hits. I hit your fucking face. You hit the ground. Nah, the ground. I've never, uh, heard, that never heard that before. Yeah, no, I know. But this this is Why not, what, what it do came you want to do? You want to go wrestling? You want to kick punch? I'll fucking I'll knock you out right now, Yoker. Oh, you. I'll flatten that beak. You got a beak. Don't. I'll Tell him not to kiss me like that. Or Chris, I'm gonna... you know that Brian hates kissing. Yeah, don't do that, hey, speak, bro. Speaking of messages, I want to play. I'd like to also play. I got some of these. I want to play one that Brian left me this message. Yeah, I'll put you. I'll take you. I'll put you in a fucking burlap sack. I'll take a wild dog. I'll throw okay. that dog in the burlap sack, and I'll throw rocks at the sack, <laughs> and the dog will bite you. No, to death. guess what I'll do. That's, that's how no, you'll fucking you die. Thing, guess what I'll do. That's, that's how not, you'll no, die. This is what I'm gonna do. While the dog's in that sack, I'm gonna live with the dog. I'm gonna train the dog, and then when we open the sack up, okay. we find Brian. Thanks. That dog fucking chomps your. Okay. What do you do? You go fucking sit, face. Hey, take. Tell him that. Okay, take, I'm gonna play the message. Don't you put your hand in my play, face like that. Let me play the message. I'm gonna so, name the I'll dog. Just play a message that Brian left me. Hold on. Will, call me back immediately. I do not like calling you and having you not answer your phone. Call me back immediately. I do not appreciate having to make a wasted phone call. I am very busy. I will remain very busy. Uh, it is a privilege for you to speak to me and to record a podcast with me. That is your privilege. And you are welcome. And you are welcome in advance. Okay, do get back to me immediately. I do not want to say this again. I will get very angry with you. I am already angry with you. All right then. Bye bye. Why are you attacking me now? Because because why would you leave that message for me now? Because because you are a you are a tall boy. No like no I'm not Chris's. a fucking tall boy. Yeah you are. I'm, I'm taller than you. And, I'm and six foot three. That makes you the boy. Shut up. Don't fucking point your don't waste point ah. your finger at me. Don't put your don't touch don't my fucking put don't your, touch my finger. Don't put your do don't not put, put your, your don't, guys, don't put your guys, person on don't, me. Guys guys you, guys don't put your person don't on ever, me. Don't ever you fucking guys. call me and you left that message yeah, and I've been waiting all fucking day to play it for our audience. Yeah don't waste my time. You lord over people. Yeah he did that. Let me tell you something. Don't waste my fucking time. No let me tell you something. He did that because I did it to him and then he knew he couldn't do it back to me so he so you transfer let, it to do it and him. I don't have I don't spread hatred so I don't have a right. message for so you the guys pecking order, the pecking order goes no. to me Brian Chris, and that's then not under the that point. will here's what's up if you either of you ever tried to put me in a fucking bag I would ram whatever fucking bag hopefully burlap up your ass hey, pull donkey. it out your mouth hey, and floss your entire hey, body hey donkey I goat spit your you're butt a, you're a donkey you're the donkey you fucking donkey <laughs> Chris stop Ehaw. fucking hey, stop ma- fucking you kissing me bro fucking mouth kiss you don't kiss me don't do that. Don't guys, don't do that. You because you're, you're, you're making me. You're you, you're acting like if I'm you your guys, woman. If I ever saw you, you guys fucking, in jail, no, if, I'm not. If hey. I ever saw you guys fighting, perhaps on a cliffside, you guys are fucking trading your pussy blows back and forth. I'd take a fucking run at you, and I would tackle slash fireman carry both of you huh? over my shoulders, just, uh-huh. and I just go running at the cliff, and you guys would be like, ah, you'd be pissing and shitting. No. You'd be so fucking no, scared, you'd be peeing and I shitting. I have air awareness. Go, oh, no, this I, is me. I, oh, yeah. And I run, and then I jump off the fucking cliff. I'd be catching so much speed that when I hit the fucking water, 500 feet below, I'd run along the water. Hey, dude, we wouldn't I be have doing air that. awareness. I would, I would do gainers through the air and land like a cat, like a cat, like a cat on my feet. You know, okay? you mean like a pussy. And here's the deal. And then I would butterfly. We wouldn't be doing any of that. We, we wouldn't be doing any of that because you know what we'd be doing, busy doing? We wouldn't be near a cliff at all. You know what we'd be doing? 
We'd be at a matinee. Brian and I would be at a matinee. You'd be my date. Hey. You'd wear a nice dress. Hey, bro. I'd buy you popcorn and hot tamales. Yeah. And then we'd fucking kiss no. through the movie. And then we'd <laughs> leave. We'd go to my place. I ain't your and boyfriend. I'd make love to you, you bro. Shut the fuck. I will fucking hey. all day, dude. I ain't. We'd have a siesta. I ain't his bitch, man. You tell him this. <laughs> You Will, know, I swear you know to God, I'll, I'll fight this fucking, fucking idiot right here and now. You I'll, don't make me your bitch. I'm gonna take, take you that to shit a back. fucking matinee, dude. Hey, I ain't let's going go to no see matinee Huntsman. with you, Let's Jack. go see Huntsman together. Let's go see Seven Fucking Dwarves and the Huntsman, whatever Fuck it is. You, you know I'm what not... I would do? You know what I would do to both you fucking guys? Here's what I would fucking, fucking do. Fucking punch in the fucking I would fucking, face. I would make a few fucking phone calls to people in the business to ensure that you never fucking work again so that you have to become fucking male strippers. And then I would join, I would or I would go to that male strip club. I would visit you there and you you guys would be together dancing around on the fucking stage I and I that. would seduce you and I'd be pulling out hundred dollar bills oh, and I'd that. make you come back to my fucking shitty dingy oh, smoky listen, hotel listen, room listen. and I'd cleaners. have a I'd have a threesome with listen you guys. Up, listen up, I'd make you cleaners. suck my hey, dick and shoe cleaners. I'd make you suck no. my yeah. dick and balls. Hey, hey. Listen, you, shoe Brian, cleaner. Brian? You couple of shoe cleaners. Let me tell you what you are. Chris has to suck my balls no, and you have to suck my shit. dick. Hey, 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 shit. hey, Joker boys. You couple of shoe cleaners. You know why I call you shoe Don't cleaners? Don't call me a shoe I'll cleaner. I'll tell you why I call you shoe cleaners. I, I, I throw a chain around your necks. I put a stake in the ground. The chain is literally about, oh, I don't know, six inches long. That means your head is real close to the fucking ground. No. And I make you clean my shoes no. before I leave. I go, no, hey, I'll hey, shoe cleaners. No. You know what I do? You know what I do? Shoes. No, no, you know what I do? I pour no. some water you know in your I mouth. Do? I get you guys together. I get two women, okay? I lock the four of you in a fucking dungeon. I wait for you guys to get horny and you mate. Nine months later, when you have kids, I take the kids. Hey, and I take them. My and I fucking, oh, yeah, no, yeah, I do. No. And I teach them stuff. No. And they become men. And they are fucking, no. I pay for their college tuition. You, what, what and they become this? fucking it's rulers a, of their company. It's a long time company. to be in a dungeon, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, you're in a dungeon. And those I don't kids be in a love me. Oh, no. Well, hey. they you know love me. You know what I'm going to call you guys? I'm going to call you guys table and chair because Brian's going to be my chair and you're going to be my table and you're going to and I'm going to eat off of you Chris I'm going to cut hey. your steak into your no. back hey. and I'm going to fart on you Brian hey, listen Fido you're Fido and you're Rex you couple dogs you're my couple dogs that I walk around on short leashes short tight leashes tight tight leashes and I put little fo footies on your feet and your hands and you walk around and you shit and I make you eat your own poo <laughs> Thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast. Well, fuck you guys, everybody else out there. <laughs> and the, thanks for listening and subscribing on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart Radio. Check I'm gonna us out. Raise your kids. We're on Twitter at Fucking 10 Minute Don't say you're going to raise my Starbucks. kids. I'm going to take them to Starbucks. We're on Twitter at 10 Minute Podcast. Nah. Hey, if you're going to buy something on Amazon, yeah, like, go to 10 Minute Podcast.com. Hit the Billy Amazon and link and you'll be supporting the show. Billy and Sarah, and get some you want free ice cream? Other Give stuff. me my kids back.